Welcome to this episode of the Have A Word How Podcast. Are we, lads? <laughs> We've got some stuff to tell you about. Before we tell you anything, we're live in Dublin, a live podcast in Dublin, Thursday, the 6th of July. We've got some guests for you. Do you want to know who's on? Why don't you tell them who's on, Dan? Or do you want me to tell them? What, what way do you want to do this? I'll, I'll do one, you do the other. Okay. Uh, with my first pick, I'm going Darren Conway. Darren Conway, local legend Loves to the Dublin salad. area. Irish hero, a man salad. of the people. And he's going to be joining us for the podcast section in Dublin. Also joining us for the podcast section and doing a little bit of stand-up is local legend Willa White. I met this lad uh, in January when I was over at the Laughter Lounge. He's absolutely fucking brilliant and we're very, very, very excited to have both of them. Haveawordlive.com. That's where you get your tickets for the live shows. We're very excited. Glasgow's nearly sold out. Dublin, there's a couple of hundred tickets left. And now that these two guests have been announced, they're going to go quickly. Go to haveawordlive.com and book your tickets now. Also, we've got the biggest patron in the UK, one of the biggest in the world. You know why? Because it's the best and it's value. If you love Have A Word, sign up to patreon.com slash haveawordpod for as little as £3 a month. You get some good shit, Adam. You get early access to these public episodes. You get an extra episode exclusive to Patreon every single week and you get access to the entire back catalogue, not just of those Patreon exclusive episodes, but the Patreon specials, every lock-in we've ever done, Nashville, uh, the Amsterdam special, the ghost hunts, there's so many things there. There's hundreds of hours of content and you get it all for three quid. Go and sign up at patreon.com slash have a word pod now and see why we are the best Patreon in the world, pound for pound. You know it, baby. Wag Wag Leeds, you're listening to the funniest podcast in the game from the heart of Liverpool with Adam, Dan, Sensei Kal and Finn. This is the one and only Have A Word. Brought to you by Manscaped, the very best products on the market for below the waist grooming. Go Ed, get on me. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh... Oh, it's nice to see you guys. I've missed you. <laughs> I've missed you. It's been four out of five days. Nine hours. <laughs> yeah, it's been nine beautiful hours with my hotel roommate, Finley Cupboard Love. Did you have sex in the hotel? We So last night was our live show in Newcastle. We're recording this the day after. So that you still get an episode while we're all on holiday in Tenerife. Uh, Dan and Finn shared a hotel room. For no Weatherby. reason. For no reason. It was 53 quid a room. I don't know why I got tight. We're not like... We're not like that with the company card. Well, how Why? tight did you get, if you know what I mean? <laughs> Why didn't you just get another one when you got there? Do you mean personal relationship? Cock, what do you mean? Uh, bum, 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 bum. Why didn't you just get another room when you got there? Um, I thought about it. Just couldn't be arsed. I was too tired. Oh, that was great. be arsed. Dro- oh, nice. Drove down from Newcastle to Weatherby Services. That took about an hour and 15 minutes. Yep. I was absolutely Romeo Dawn. We'd driven from there this morning. Dropped Will Hutchby off, which was a mistake. I thought he was coming into the studio. Fucking dropping him off, because I love him, to his door. Which no one else would get that service. You would leave. Um and uh yeah, just we shared a room, but my god, Finn is just it's so easy to he just goes to sleep, there's no noise, oh. there's a little bit of crying. Easy for what? I'm easy. Just easy. I make you work for it. Ooh. Oh yeah. Don't you I am worried that Finn. you two are gonna fuck at something, yeah. You know? And it would ruin because you would genuinely ruin our career. So don't. Is that how homophobic you are that I can't share a room with Finn? No, you're in a and position like, of power. Oh, no, yeah. no, you're definitely going to fuck it. It's not homophobic. Who room? I've got no problem with you and uh, another man having a heterosexual relationship. You just can't be grooming what? a what? Turkish Welshman. You're in Welshman. a position of hey. power. What? Huh? What? You're Did I say heterosexual? Yeah. I meant consensual. You're in a position of power. Oh, I'm not power. fucking him until he's transitioned. <laughs> To full tear. <laughs> full tear. <laughs> show, me your, teeth show me your passport. I'm seven weeks away from having my teeth finny told. Give us a give us a smile. No, I think it's more than seven weeks, mate. No. Can you do that? Retainers with... work quick. Really? What? Yeah. Yeah. But I'm getting a composite bonding on them, so Oh, oh my god. Full coverage composite bonding, well, top and bottom. Right. You know, like <laughs> Tom Cruise's Better looking mate. Uh, oh, Tom Cruise yeah. has got bad teeth. Have you seen his tooth through the That's middle of his through, through the middle of his head? Have you seen that? He's got a tooth coming out the middle of his face, hasn't he? Yeah. What? Have you never seen that? Tom Cruise's mi- uh, middle tooth. He's, he's got a middle, middle tooth. He hasn't got two middle teeth. Oh, he's, he's got, got like one. a yeah. It's in the middle of his like head. a McLaren. It's so weird. <laughs> right. Is that something you can't get fixed? Have you just noticed? What the. F- Fuck. He's just got one tooth in the middle of his head. Minute, I'm going to put this well, if you look no, closely, but he, but he, and he's any... got other teeth. So yeah. you've made him... Yeah. <laughs> Is that like a tin opener? Like, Do you have noticed that? 
Have Mission you... Impossible. <laughs> you know, just, he's only got one tooth. He's right in the middle of his head. Wow. Oh, now that you... It's hard to... Can't unsee it. Is the telly on? Yeah. Can you but see it's it? only small. Oh, uh, yeah, here we go. Look at that. Oh, it's just slightly off to the side, isn't it? It's, he's got normal teeth. It's just, they're all just slightly off a bit. It's weird, isn't it? It looks like he's got drift on his teeth. But he had terrible teeth when he was young. So that's restructured, isn't it? Oh, is the... Uh, yeah, look, know there's, a, there's a... Oh, there's a... Here? Yeah, yeah. He had some bad oh, tagos, mate. I thought that was like makeup or something. I think he had some terrible teeth. He's, he's done well, on he? Tom Cruise, in terms of like where he started, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. where he started teeth wise, he's five foot two and ha and lies about it. He's got terrible fucking tags. Does his own stunts? <laughs> like, no one can say Tom Cruise without saying Scientology, and he does his own stunts. Um, what do you think about the Church of Scientology? I don't know enough about it, but they sound <laughs> fucking batshit, mate. I think they're the best one. But I tell you this: if the primary school round our way was Scientology, Etta would be a Scientologist because I'm a lazy <laughs> motherfucker. Don't care, she'd be going there. That'd be great, Scientology primary schools. They get their own planet when they die. Okay, crazy ladies, bye-bye. Do you get your own more sense than, like, Christians, though, doesn't it? Yeah. You just float up and you get to see your nan again. And God's there making tea and biscuits. No, it's all made-up bullshit. It's just a different version of made-up bullshit. No, no, but that's real, there are planets, and you could have one. What? You could have your own planet. You can't float into the pearly gates and see your old dog. Right. I mean, you can do neither. That's the thing, isn't it? No, that, but that's more believable. Why? What? Because you, flo you float to a planet. As time goes on. <laughs> yeah. Which what pl planet's that? That's your Auntie Bev. Yeah. In what a racist planet. In what sense, Adam? I'm becoming more spiritual as time goes on. Yeah. Like I, just, I believe more. In a, in a higher power. A higher power. Afterlife. Life after love. Yeah. <laughs> do you believe in, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> um, and golf. That's the higher in power, isn't it? What was that? Yeah. He put, uh, uh, He's sold the soul to the Saudis already. You could move to Nashville anytime, couldn't you? Yeah. You're closer to Jesus. You're closer to the first tee. <laughs> you want a gun. You're <laughs> so <laughs> Tennessee, mate. Yeah, I am. Apart from you being dead. Scouts. The only thing holding me back is you cunts. Otherwise, I'd already be there. Ah, oh, go and start a podcast with some Tennessee boys, some Christian golfing She's mates. Not gonna That'd be fire, by the way. <laughs> Adam Rowe and the Tee Off Podcast. Jesus. Don't take his name and in vain. The thing is, we start every episode by taking our tees off. Right, so it's a topless Christian golf <laughs> podcast oh. with a scouser and some boring Tennessee cunts. You could call it I'm Four Gospels. <laughs> that sounds more religious. It's the Four Gospels. Four. It reads as four. No, it's elongated with dots. Four. I think yeah. that's one of Bill Bear's most underrated jokes ever, that. Uh, about... Uh, <laughs> he struggled with religion. It's on his like live at Gotham set. He's like, I always struggle, struggle with religion because even the priest sound like he didn't believe what he was saying. I'm like, this is the gospel, according to Luke. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm not saying it, I'm just saying Luke said it, all right? <laughs> oh, it's a great line. Yeah, well, uh, good luck with Jesus. Good luck with golf. But you, you, when you mean spiritual, you don't mean like a Christian fucking blurt, do you? No, I don't uh, agree with organised religion. And I don't know whether you know, Dan, but there's uh, a long uh, historic problem with paedophilia in the Catholic Church. So I don't really want to get involved with those guys. You know yeah, there's I mean? other churches. There's other less Nazi churches. Yeah, but I don't care about any of them. I just think that there's someone overseeing us. I just get like this uh, sense that we're being uh, looked after and watched and uh, cared for. What about the people that, you know, you know, get shot, get run over? Part of it implies that I they think, were like, yeah, well, fuck them. I think, you know um, how in some religions there's like, is it purgatory where you're like in the middle? Let, let I think limbo. this is purgatory. What? I think earth is purgatory. Right. So I think we're all here to try and sort of sort out what we've done to see where we end up. Like lost. Yeah. To so the made up nice place or the made up bad place. I mean, if this is purgatory. for lost now. <laughs> By the way, Walt dies at the end of Breaking Bad as well. You don't actually see that. And you don't, I suppose you don't do, you know. Right. So this is purgatory. That was just a complete country of a minute there, wasn't it? Yeah. You shouldn't ruin two TV shows that you might catch up on at some point. Anyway, back to purgatory. Wasn't really on point. Uh, just want to ruin a couple of things for you. <laughs> back to the chat. Bruce Willis is a ghost in Armageddon. <laughs> That'd be a good crossover. That'd be <laughs> mental. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right, okay. 
Well, I mean, it's not, but it's nice that you think that. It's lovely, isn't it? It's lovely. You don't know that it's not, though? I know, but it is, isn't it? I do you know, know what I mean? I, I don't know, but... Exactly. You so just, stop you're just doing the same, same... How dare you, sir? <laughs> how fucking dare you? Um, I, I do find it an irritating when people of faith thank God for something they've just done. Especially in sport, I find it irritating. Like, <laughs> just want to thank God, you know, for, for the win. And it's like, because he hates that team <laughs> and he hates, loves our team. But and, you last know, week, that team, thank God for their win. <laughs> hang on. God's no. got two teams, <laughs> at least. It's like, thank God for giving me the ability to do that, isn't it? You are? It's like, thank God for giving me the abilities to run fast and catch yeah. the ball. It's not like right. they're going God through that. Pass and I and still, I caught it. Yeah, yeah, and I still think you're prioritizing the wrong things. There's like, you know, floods in Pakistan. I want to thank Jesus for this win. You're like, hey, he's busy, mate. Just fucking play your game. He's busy Can flooding you say- Pakistan. <laughs> yeah. Pause. Because <laughs> they picked the wrong guy. <laughs> oh, God. I just have no fucking time for it. Why is this not enough? Why is this beautiful, awful, flawed, wonderful life not enough? Just enjoy it. Why does it have to be like, it's going to be better, it this could is be hell. worse. This is hell we live in hell. What the There's fuck There's a woman who used to go into my mum's fruit shop who believe that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> she sounds like a miserable cunt, doesn't she? This is hell. I'll have a pullet of raspberries. <laughs> <laughs> ah, they're all squidgy. <laughs> where do you think she's from? <laughs> I don't know, but she sounds like a proper <laughs> cunt. <laughs> she was like, this, this is hell. She was like, this is such a miserable existence that... <laughs> I just feel like uh, any creator, this is the hell. And we've all done something wrong. In the I think she's a spoiled raspberry eating bitch. And when she gets to heaven, they're going to go, you're a moaning cunt. You're not coming in. No. Fuck off. And you just go, oh, sorry. And they go, all right. That's the Christian one, isn't it? Yeah. There's some, is there some religions where there's no forgiveness? If you Ooh. fuck up, you're done. Good Romeo, laughing. done. There's no, there's, there's no sorry. There's no sorry at the gates. It's like not having your fucking boarding pass. You're past the sorry. Once you're at the gates, you, you're Do like, did you say so? Yeah. It's not, that get out just doesn't work. I, I Like, it's so contradictory with everything in the Bible. You can't just be like, murder, 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 murder. I've died. Sorry. <laughs> I said sorry. He knew the sorry thing. We should have let him in because he's killed 19 people. <laughs> but he knew the sorry get out. Let him in. With that moaning raspberry eating fucker. No, I think if you're sorry in, in, on, the, on earth for a bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Just as the truck's about to it, yeah. Sorry. Ah, oh, fucking got it just in time. Yeah. Goes to VAR. Like, did <laughs> did he say? Did he start the sorry before the impact? Like, what a lot of fucking. It's bollocks. what Jeffrey Dahmer did, didn't he? Jeffrey da- Jeffrey Dahmer purposely found Christianity in prison because he was like, oh, I'll just get away with all this. Yeah, but it, yeah. You don't know he didn't. He might have. Yeah, but it's all. He's head chef now. Again, for heaven. Again, it's just the what. Like, if there is genuinely, if Jesus was the teachings of God, that's been so warped and fucked with. You can't eat. I tell you what, don't eat pork. Don't mess with pork because that is God says. God says it's nothing to do with all these people dying, but it's He said it's it's so warped now. The word of Christ, as if as if a truly powerful God is going. You did kill. Lo- you at gay guys, <laughs> but I did say the sorry thing. So you're in. Come on. Don't eat any gay guys in heaven, because that'd ruin heaven for them, wouldn't it? No, but that'd be his heaven, wouldn't it? Eating gay guys. Right. And then you're into the, everyone's got their own heaven. Yeah, but what, Jeffrey Dam's heaven would be eating gay people. Yeah, but that's not, that behaviour isn't acceptable in heaven. So that gets your own hell, doesn't it? Then we're in a catch-22 here. How do, you, how do you know it's not acceptable? What? God is on record as saying he doesn't like the gays. So maybe he wanted Jeffrey Dam to eat them. But he loves every, right, okay. So <laughs> what you're saying is <laughs> like that. that Christians should be eating gay guys. Because God said that. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying you haven't read all of the bylaws. No, <laughs> bylaws. <laughs> I thought you were going to say Bible. The <laughs> bylaws in the Bible. Uh, it's a pretty uh, boring testament. I'm, I'm According repulsed to by Jeffrey Dahmer and all of his actions. I'm not defending them at all. I'm glad think, you've said it. <laughs> <laughs> I think God might, you know. No. No, there is no heaven where you're allowed to be Jeffrey Dahmer. Because imagine, <laughs> imagine if you... Imagine if you get to heaven and go, do you know, I was dead good that whole time, but you know, it turns out I'd love to just kill and eat loads of gay guys. So can I have his heaven? It's just a f- I'll copy theirs. <laughs> Awful. What a load of made up bullshit. She sounds like the worst person I've ever heard of. It's this fun to believe in hell. Though. Oh my God. Get a hobby. Go for a walk. What would your heaven be? What would my heaven if be? If you got to choose your heaven, 
Um, it would be. Might have be a golf course, personally. <laughs> go on, you go. It... <laughs> I'm sorry, a what course? <laughs> Go on, Dan. You're allowed like three prerequisites and five people. Uh, three prerequisites. Um, uh, I would like to. A lot of the stuff that exists in this life for me, I feel uh, very blessed. I think less than four podcasts a week is going to be part of my <laughs> oh, so podcast, heaven. Then? I am definitely taller, probably mixed race, big dick, and loads of hair. Is that all right? That's four. All right, yeah. All right, I'll lose the podcast. I'll do more podcasts. If so I yeah. in heaven, you want to be taller with hair with a big dick. Oh yeah, I don't think that's how heaven works. Oh, I, oh, sorry. So we can kill and eat gay guys in heaven? <laughs> no, because I've not I read the by bylaws. I didn't say that. I'm telling you right now, my heaven, <laughs> if Jeffrey Dahmer gets his heaven, I am a six foot four mixed race guy in heaven. I'm not. Fuck, I'm not this in heaven. You are. Fuck. You're still you. It's just what fuck is off. in heaven. You don't know Heaven's the bylaws. Heaven's essentially like a theme park. Yeah. So what do you want in your theme park? What me, restaurants? Me looking better, mate. I want Skeleton Lake services of the M1. <laughs> That's heaven. Uh, no, in fact, Skeleton Lake services on the M1 with a water park, a podcasting studio, a, 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 a gig full of people that, like last night in Newcastle. I do that over and over, but I want to be taller with a bigger dick. I also. actually think it's actually quite an interesting question to design our own heaven. So let's say you get five things. Okay. Right? In your heaven. Each. You get, yeah. So you get to the pearly gates. Peter's like, what's happening, Carl? I'd love to pod. £10 patron. Oh, oh, yeah. By yeah. the way, Carl, before we start, big question. I'm going to need your answers. Yes or no? No. Are you sorry? <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Good, 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 good. Because it all goes to shit from there. You, you play the heaven shoot. arena then? You can play the heaven arena, but uh, there is going to be a need to be a letter. The first thing in my heaven, Kinder Buenos. Right. So that exists in life. Yeah. So we're one, you're already, you don't even have to change anything. No. All right, cool. No, like it's things. You can <laughs> you can always get a Kinder Bueno in heaven. Can you? Yeah. yeah. No, so in heaven, Serica's boobs taste like Kinder Bueno. And you can do. nibble them. The There's do. shops, but like not on cost anything. <laughs> oh shit! So you—that's just... one of my things then. All the shops are free. I'm worried about sorry. I've just given you half an on. Oh shit! Okay. Um, <laughs> Carl's like, no, I just want to make sure to get it. So no, yeah, that, that's one of my five. I've got, one. There. I've got no fear. Right. Because you can do everything then. Because it could be like um, skydiving. There, you can't but... change anything about you. It's just what do you want to walk into and have there? Okay, five things made out of rubber then. I'm having this, by the way. You absolutely can change you. I'm having my own fucking heaven where I'm different. You can change things about you. You can be a fearless tit quinder, kinder bueno eating man. You can, oh. yeah. Why not? So, there should be no fear in heaven, in theory. Yeah. What should be, What are you going to be scared of? Give me an example then so I can know where to go from. Golf course. It's golf course is here. I know, but I want one in heaven. I'm not here anymore. I'm in heaven. Oh, we're definitely Are you copying a golf heavens. course or are you having, making your own? Make your own, surely. Yeah. No, I can't be asked designing this, so I'd just go for the last Augusta. hole. The last hole is Anfield. You just <laughs> fucking pitch it right onto the pitch. It's fifty-three thousand. Come on, Adam. I'm going golf course. Um, I'm going. Oh god, <laughs> he's only played two games. I know. <laughs> and I'm Honestly. going Xbox. The best thing is, if he dies in three weeks when he's gone off golf, he'll be like, "Oh fuck yeah, I did say golf heaven dinner." <laughs> I'm not asked about that now. <laughs> Xbox with FIFA, the new FIFA on just happens every year. Right. And I've already got a sick ultimate team. It's oh, an unlimited oh, nice. FIFA points. Yes. Yeah. Wallet. So I'm doing that. Um, it's all tradable. Oh, yes. There's a water park. Nice. Um, there's a, a lovely bar that like is just, I know, I don't. I can't explain it, but it's in my head. Yeah. It's like a speakeasy. Oh, it's dark. This yeah. Is, this is just just talking about florida <laughs> <laughs> this is florida you can you can go to your heaven it's about six hours on a flight a uh, nice uh, temperature and uh, you know a couple of comedy clubs the beach yeah I comedy love, club i love sea animals killer whales to be able to see them fly <laughs> through the air majestically uh, if only there was a place on earth like that comedy club water park golf course xbox with unlimited of fifa points oh right <laughs> Liverpool, got to be in there. Football club. No? No, I feel like I can just watch that from heaven down here. I don't want a new 
I want to. I want to still. Yeah, I don't need that. Um, yeah. Also, it'd be boring if Liverpool were in your heaven, wouldn't it? It's like, yeah, hundred and six points again, won the league. <laughs> yeah, it's not a challenge wouldn't really be when you've when done... Pep Guardiola's cheating bastards. You know what I mean? It's still winning. <laughs> yeah. Even in your heaven, like hundred and seven <laughs> cheating. Con. Um, number five, maybe a dartboard or something. <laughs> I can't have Kinder Bueno if you're on dartboards. Hey, how good is it that I am just, I'm going to be able to buy one of his dream things for heaven <laughs> for him for Christmas? Brilliant. <laughs> get me a golf course. Just literally get <laughs> get a chipped PS5 and then move Xbox. to Orlando <laughs> and I'll send you a fucking dartboard. You're going to have a great time. I don't time. actually want a dartboard, by the way. Don't be fucking get me one of them for Christmas. I'll give you it back. I want no fear and ultimate strength. So like I can... <laughs> You change the question into what superpowers you want. He just wants, he just wants a boss stag do, and you're like, I want to be all powerful and never scared. I want to be God. I want to run the gap. Uh, I want to levitate and be able to. No, uh, no, not powers. I right. want to be like the strongest I could possibly be, the fastest I could possibly be. Like, I'm the ultimate me. Right, so you're a superhero. No. He's going on a holiday. <laughs> He's going on a make a wish holiday. He's going for a two week holiday with the ill kids go on and you want to be John Cena. A superhero. I want to be John Cena. Uh, I want to fly and have a cape and have laser eyes. So I'm going on a holiday that ill kids get to go on. John Cena's going to be there for me as well. I get both. No, I don't want powers. I want to be the best possible me. Like if you went to the gym every day. Yeah, and, and I was the healthiest and right, I was okay. the, the smartest. I'm just sick. I'm sick me. Not scared and not. What, what are you going for, Finn? I'm Kinder Bueno. Kinder Bueno. The sea. I can jump in the sea and just swim down because I'm a boss swimmer. Fucking smack a shark because I'm dead hard. And Seen that video of the shark eating the Egyptian fella? Yeah. No, yeah. the Russian fella in Egypt. It's grim. What? It's he grim. went for a little swim. He's about literally 100 yards off the coast and a uh, shark gets him. Sh Sh oh, is it when someone goes, that looks like he's going to get eaten by a shark. Charmel shake? Yeah. Shark, oh. No, it's actually called Sharks Bay. Genuinely, I've been. Right. Is charcoal it, shake, you say your dead mate? Charcoal shake? No, okay. Yeah. <laughs> is it near... Sh sh Charm's close to Shark's Bay. Right. They've and it's called Shark Shark's well. Bay. It's called Shark's Bay. Yep. Um, the, uh, the the boat's coming in if they've got, like, excess meat. Like, they, rather than having to get rid of it on land, they just throw it off the back. Like, all right, we're coming in now. They've, they've been out for, like, three days. That's why they follow. And so they just throw... So it's teaching the sharks that like, oh, you humans, like those things you don't understand, like boats and whatever, you just keep following them because they'll, they'll be meat in the water. I think True. sharks do understand boats. That's why that kid got eaten in really? the Bahamas. Yeah. Like, is that, uh, dad, what's that? It's a yacht, son. <laughs> That's the sea cat. Follow it because uh, sometimes the chefs don't want to get rid of food <laughs> and we'll follow it and we'll eat it. And if we see a big fat fucking Russian, I'll snack his head off. <laughs> That's why the kid died in the Bahamas because the sharks follow the boat You're for that reason. You're obsessed with that, mate. Absolutely obsessed. You brought with it. up people getting eaten by sharks in the sea. It's a very close uh, fucking yeah, story. Yeah, I did bring it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did bring it up. And I, bring, I brought up golf as well, didn't I? Um, <laughs> <laughs> What's your heaven, Finn? Um, There's no sharks in my heaven. Go on. Some sort of small music gig with small. all the. Like, no, like 500 people is the best kind Are you of playing? music gigs. Sometimes, and then sometimes it's the Beatles. And sometimes so it's you own a, a comedy club for musicians, essentially? Or just a music venue, yeah. 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 Nice. Um, what else? And sometimes it's the Beatles on, but sometimes you're like, you know what, I'm just going to drop in and do five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five songs. You're like, yeah. wait a Do my scatting. Um, <laughs> Do you want a guitar? What else? He's <laughs> just doing that with his hands. Oh, because it's in heaven. Everyone's like, this is the best thing I've ever heard. Yeah. Uh, I've got to have some, got to have some narcotics so in, in heaven. <laughs> what? Because it's in heaven. Do you like it? Because it's your heaven. Not like down it's here and everyone thinks shit. No, it? it's actually <laughs> good. Yeah, it's not even that it's good. Because it's, it's in heaven. Even though it's still shite. <laughs> People are tolerating it. Not like down here where you get fucking like things lash it. No, no, no. Same the, old shit, but people enjoy it. What was the second one? Some sort of narcotics. Oh, the drugs? nice ones. Not, I don't want to have any panic attacks. I just want to have a nice time. Nice. Pot. Uh, yeah, that's the main one. Um, what else? Shot, like, cool clothes? <laughs> want some cool clothes? Cool clothes. Mm, yeah. 
maybe not the Under Armour polo t- t-shirts, but s- other other cool clothes. Liam Gallagher's your dad. Um, no, <laughs> I don't want him to be my dad. I want him to be your mate. No, because yeah, but it's not me. even like your I uncle. Thought, thought, your uncle. Obviously, I've thought about this a lot. I don't. I don't want to be Liam Gallagher's friend now because he's fifty-one, and I don't know. Actually, no, we get hey. on quite well. What? <laughs> Whoa! What? Because he try and fuck you in Weatherby? Is <laughs> that um, you call your asshole? You don't. Want, <laughs> don't have sex with Liam Gallagher. Fuck me oh, in the Weatherby. Uh, I don't. I'm quite easy to please. I think. Just that. Yeah, I'll you, have three. I'll take three. You can take the rest. You just want to be successful here, don't you? I'd like to have forgotten to be a vegetarian. That would be nice. <laughs> if that was just, if that light switch was off. I I just, not, that you're not, a, <laughs> not that you're not a vegetarian. You just forgot. Yeah. And you're just there having a leg of lamb one day and someone's oh. like, aren't you a vegetarian? You're like, I forgot. You just want to be able to eat your kebab without it talking to you. Finn, yeah. I'm lovely. I think you'll end up eating meat again. Yeah, you will. Five years. I don't see it. Personally. I see it. Heaven. Yeah. Yeah. If you, renou- club. If you renounce the Turkish side. Yeah. Well, good luck on your journey to heaven. Thank you. Mine looks like Teletubby land, except there's more cocaine and loads of bitches. I'm my family in a separate little, you know. Are the Teletubbies still there? It can be if you want. If it's only the, sure, heaven makes pipe pipe down. They look pipe good down. to batter, don't they? <laughs> yeah. Just, like if you're angry, you just go and batter all the Teletubbies. Yeah. Mine would look like the night garden. I'd be off my tits all the time. I'd be on the Ninky Nonk driving around. Don't need Audi Q7s in my heaven. Got be Ninky Nonks up there? Maca yeah? Packer. Oh. And Maca Packers. Oh yeah, he's having a great time. And then my family there, everyone's safe. You know, <laughs> my mum's there, Laura's dad's there. We're all having a great time. And every night I go off to do a gig in a separate part of Teletubby land. You can come play my comedy club on the golf course. Yeah. Nice. And then instead of going to the golf course after the comedy club, I just go to a big orgy where we take loads of drugs. It's nice, isn't it? And Laura's like, do it. They're your hobbies. No, like, she's not Thank dead. you, babe. <laughs> she's not dead. What? Laura isn't dead. She's in my heaven. Even if she's alive, is that allowed? Yeah, 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 yeah. No. It's a total cheat, yeah, yeah. No, that's not allowed. All right, cool. You can well, have a robot that looks exactly like her, but it's not <laughs> Ooh, her. Yeah. Uh, what, so it's exactly like it acts like her? Yeah. But has robot titties? Yeah, yeah you have yeah. to charge it as well. Yeah, it's got robot strength, though. <sighs> no, Surely not. there's no batteries in heaven. There's no charges in heaven. Okay, well, I've got to find a way to make it more difficult then. It's Laura, but there's no emotion because she's a robot. Yeah, and she's got, she's got a Harry. slight... Lithuanian accent, but yeah. only slight that you hear. Oh, yes. Have a good time, Ed. And one of her knees is slightly bigger than the other. Oh, I'm out. I'm fucking out. <laughs> well, turns out just before I die, I'm taking Laura with me. And she'll oh. be like, what are you doing? I'm like, well, I'm not going to heaven on my own. I'm like, come here. That'd be great. What what you, you how are you there? dying? Yeah, what? Are you stabbing yourself? I don't know, just before I die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God. And then me. when they're like, hang on, how did you two get it together? Are you sorry? I'm like, dead sorry. I'm in. <laughs> Are you fucking sorry? great? There we go. There's heaven. That's and that's heaven, <laughs> ladies and gents. Uh, comment below what your heaven is. I Five things, things in your heaven. Mind. What? Water parks and golf courses. We'll, we'll, go, names well. we'll go on there on Sunday. Huh? <laughs> I'm really excited about ten minutes. <laughs> right, let's have a break. See you in a sec. What's happening, ladies and gentlemen? Dan has had to skive off because he's got a wife and kids, but I'm here to tell you about my absolute favourite sponsor of this podcast, NordVPN. If you don't know what a VPN is by now, I don't know what rock you've been hiding under. It's a virtual private network. It's basically a way to up your internet security whilst also changing the game. You can set your laptop or computer to pretend it's in any country in the world. This gives you so many benefits. For example, if there's a film on like the Armenian Netflix, but it's not on the UK one, Tell your computer you're in Armenia. It'll log into Armenia Netflix when you sign into Netflix and you can watch the film using that. Not only that, but you can watch sports that isn't broadcast in whatever country you're in. For example, if you're a fan of the English Premier League, the football, the soccer, you can't watch the three o'clock games, can you? But if you're in America, you can. So set your VPN to America and watch the three o'clock games using an American subscription. That's how you do this. Now, if you go to nordvpn.com slash have a word, you get a big bonus from them, okay? You might have seen NordVPN doing offers elsewhere where you'll get three months extra free when you sign up for two years. If you use our code, if you use our specific URL, nordvpn.com slash have a word, Four months free when you sign up for two years. And that's with all three of their packages standard all the way up to their ultra premium one. You get the bonus month when you sign up for two years. Do it now. 
up your internet security and up your internet content game, okay? Get back to the episode. I know you're enjoying it, but sign up. Support our sponsors. They support us. Also, NordVPN's the best VPN on the planet. It's my one. Wow. Oh, wow. 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 Go Vandy. Go Vandy. Go Vandy. I absolutely cunted off someone that works for Jet2 on the phone I'm on the so way to funny. Oh, my Why? God. So funny. I, uh, they got the name wrong. They got uh, Will Hutchby's surname wrong when I amended the book in and added him. They, I've said Hutchby. She's gone. Galifianakis. Hutchy. So he was on the, so he's noticed, he's noticed it. it. Otherwise we'd have got to the airport and they'd have been like, oh, oh, oh dear. Major problem here. It's Will Hutchy that's booked on the flight. <laughs> and this says Will Hutchby. And it's the right date of birth and the right passport number. But that letter doesn't match. So we have to shoot you in the airport. That's how that works. Because <laughs> you're a terrorist. Yeah. So that's how that works. So the whole holiday's off. Are we going to play terrorist in the bingo head. in the airport, by the way? No, we're absolutely not. I'll play. So I rang, I rang up. Can we just say bomb as loud as you can? No. I'll do that. We'll play bomb keys, but we're bomb. No. Not bomb. Bar! Not, not bomb. Bonus. I'm a bomb the plane. <laughs> play that. When, you, when we check in, when you put your bag in, you just go, excuse me, love. Uh, yeah, just this one. And this is me, Anna, because I was just wondering, where, which, uh, which, uh, des- which uh, gate is it if I want to bomb the plane? <laughs> Yeah, I want to blow it up in the sky. Did you pack your own suitcase? Oh, they'll get me bomb on. Yeah, with bombs. Do they give me bombs to you or do they keep that in my hand luggage? Hey, you're bomb. not going to be allowed on the on the flight. Oh, you've ruined this game. You're not taking my bomb in check. You'll lose it. So I rang Jet 2 and I was like, uh, she was like, hi, it's Elaine from Jet 2. How can I help? I was like, morning, Elaine. How are you today? She was like, she's one of them. You know, when you ask them how they're like, oh, thank you. Thank you so much for asking. Yeah, that's great. I was like, this is the problem. We've got a spelling mistake on on Will Hutchby's name. So we're going to change it. And I could, you know, she's doing the, okay. Should I have a keyboard like her? I think DJ, so. DJ. <laughs> uh, she, yeah. was, she was Fred again. <laughs> um, and uh, she was like, okay, because it is just a letter change. It should be 150 pounds charge, <laughs> but I am going to do this as a goodwill gesture. And I think it's because I was like, morning, Elaine. <laughs> How are you today? You, you sound fit enough. You sound fit. Do you, do you th- Elaine, do you get this a lot? You sound beautiful. I know I can People only hear can you. People can sound fit though. Yeah. She didn't. Um, and <laughs> it, she sounded like your mum's mate, Elaine. She and then fit, she was so. like, okay, so I'm not going to charge you. That's all changed. You've got a new reservation number. And I was like, thank you so much, Elaine, being a right grovel. And then she was like, thank you. Have a great week. I was like, you too. Enjoy your holiday. <laughs> all right, Elaine. And then she was like, bye-bye. And then I was like, Fuck's sake, Elaine. It's just a fucking letter change, isn't it? Fucking hell. Oh shit, I've not turned the phone on. (laughs) (laughs) I actually used the name in the fuck off, Elaine. You're not, watch, oh. we'll not be able to fly now. Uh, The booking confirmation came through straight away. Turns out Elaine is uh, pretty sound. So uh, yeah, sorry about that, Elaine. I I was, it was so, I was like, good morning. And she's like, good morning. Soon as I thought I was off the phone. So Will typed it in wrong? No, because I rang up and I did it over the phone. So I was like... Uh, oh, well then you never like... We're you're adding... never getting charged for that, are you? You could have said fucking Osama Bin Laden. And like, you could have just rang and gone, no, they've misheard me. I said, Will Hutch me. You've got an accent. As long as you haven't typed it in, no, you're I... definitely getting away with that. No, I... listen, Elaine was friendly, but I don't think she'd accept that I said Will Hutch me and her colleague at the call center heard Osama Bin Laden. <laughs> well, maybe not him, because he's famous, isn't he? But like someone yeah. else. Uh, do you reckon yeah. if you- do you reckon Donald if you... McIntyre. If you'd have said that, you could have got away with it. Well, the irony is the I got the Asian name spot on, because I was really concentrating, because I was like, listen, we're taking our boy Ishan, and I don't want to be the white guy that got his name wrong. He's like, oh, you spelled it wrong. So I really concentrate with that. Do you reckon if you book if you reckon if your name's Osama Bin Laden and then you book a holiday, there's a problem. Yeah. Do you reckon they go, is that your name? I reckon you definitely get randomly searched at the airport. Like, it's fucking grim, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, He's ruined it. Yeah. Because if your name's Osama Bin Laden, it's going to cause issues a lot of places, really. You know what I mean? What can you do about it? It's your parents' fault. You were born before 9 11. Yeah. You were born in the 80s. Right. So you're a. F- it's acceptable in the 80s. So if you-, you were called Osama Bin Laden, yeah. would you change your name? Or would you be like, no, I'm not fucking changing it because that cunt's got a bit rambunctious. <laughs> right. A bit rambunctious. Look at him, rambunctious bastard. Yeah, he got a bit rambunctious with the old aviation. I'm I not changing my name. 
It's just me dad's name, me granddad's name, me nan's name. Yeah. His dad was Osama bin Laden. Right, if, if my mate Adolf Hitler's not had to change his name, I'm not changing mine from Osama bin Laden. Um, it's illegal to call your kids Adolf in uh, Germany, isn't it? Not anymore. I think it's illegal to call your children Osama bin Laden if you're from a white family in Preston. I think that might... <laughs> I think that might not in the 80s just, it wasn't just a few Hello, red my name's Dan Nightingale this is my wife Mary this is Mary Nightingale don't know why I didn't just go with Laura <laughs> <laughs> this is Mary Nightingale Mary. and this is and our this son. is Joseph Nightingale <laughs> and their son Osama bin Nightingale it's a weird story but it's still more believable than the fucking Bible uh, Adidas' fellow was called Adolf wasn't he Ad yeah Adi Dazzler Adi, is Adolf Dazzler yeah. <laughs> Adolf Dazzler. So, uh, here's what he called his car. He sounds like the gay brother of Adolf Hitler. He's Adolf Dazzler. <laughs> God. First name's not your family name. You wouldn't have two brothers both called Adolf. No, you're right. I was just trying to be funny, wasn't I? In Asian countries, you would. Yeah, in Asian countries where <laughs> their son is called Adolf Dazzler. <laughs> Vietnam. So it's just mad that like it's illegal to call... Your kid, Adolf. No, there's but, like, a football there's loads of people Adolf. worldwide wearing, uh, like, Adolf merch. <laughs> merch. <laughs> That's what Adidas is, isn't it? It's Adolf merch. It's German Adolf merch. Yeah, not really, but yeah. <laughs> I can see what you mean. I mean, it's not. <laughs> Let's see sort of what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. It's not ad It's not the first name that's the, the big one, though, is it? It's the surname. Like, if it was... Hitler merch. Yeah, that'd be bad. Yeah, yeah. that would be different, yeah. Osama bin Laden would be an, uh, a weird That's what Nike is, sponsor as well. Nike was started by a fellow called Nicky Hitler. <laughs> people, not a lot of people know about that. <laughs> they couldn't pronounce it. <laughs> it was a little lad. Oh, Nike Hitler. Nike <laughs> Call <Hitler>. it Nike. <laughs> <laughs> There's ramifications to his surname. <laughs> I'm so tired. I was bumming all night. <laughs> well, that's in a trailer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Elaine's tired me out. Hello. Have this is, this is my may require a scooch. Have you seen the oddest celebrity couple I've ever seen? Yes, I have. Seen. Bill Murray and um Let them guess if they've not seen it. Have you seen it? Uh, we have to we have to guess <laughs> we have to guess the That's weirdest celebrity couple, Bill Murray and, and Osama bin Laden. <laughs> I think this is weirder. <laughs> it is, weirder. is it a black woman? Yes. It is. Have you seen it? No. It Lizzo. Is a, it is a black woman. Is it Lizzo? You're no. not miles away with Lizzo. It is, a, it is a pop star. Fatima Whitbread. The, yes. It Jeannie Ashley. Not a pop star. Um, you didn't say pop star? Is it a pop star? I did say yeah. pop star like five seconds ago. Alicia Keys. You're getting close. It's warmer. Uh, Kelly's. Yes. Yes. <laughs> did you know no, that? It isn't. No, it is. <laughs> Bill Murray is dating Kelly's. Do you know what my next guess was? Angela Merkel. <laughs> and genuinely. I honestly think that's more realistic than Khalees. He's 70. The milkshake woman. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My milkshake brings Bill <laughs> Murray Khalees. to uh, Khalees, the milkshake woman. <laughs> that's how he knows her. Bill was like, he's the milkshake woman. <laughs> well, I love milkshakes. I'm 72. Let's fuck. Yeah, he's fucking her. No, he's not. Yeah, Bill Murray's very is. famous. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Murray's very famous for pranking people, isn't he? He, takes he goes up like uh, to people in restaurants and just like flicks their tits and goes, no one will ever believe you. <laughs> yeah, he goes up and like fingers your bum all goes, no one's I'd love it how he started that. He's like, Khalees, hey, milkshake woman, do you want to fucking wind everyone up? Why don't you move in with me? And we'll pretend we're a couple. <laughs> Why? Because Angela Merkel's a boring bitch and she's not up for it. He kissed the Scarlett Johansson and lost in translation. Yeah, that's acting though, isn't it? That's no, a, like, it's a role. That's <laughs> he, not real. But he's shown that he's a frisky bugger. Right. <laughs> right. Because he played a role where he kissed the lady. Finisky bugger. Yeah. Robert De Niro's murderous. Yeah, I've seen it in loads of films. He murdered loads of people in films. Watch out for Robert De Niro. He'll kill you. Shoot in the face. That's, that's him. Old Bobby De Niro. That is fucking it's wild, weird, it? mate. Yeah. So Khalees is what, 40 odd years old? 43. There's 30 years between them. Are you yeah. actually not taking the piss? No. no. Are you sure? Are yeah. we sure we're not taking the piss? Yeah. Are you sure it's not like who have you heard this? One off? of those fake showbiz news. It wasn't like the Onion. What? It wasn't the Onion. No, it was the. It's reported in every the Washington Post. <laughs> How old is he? Seventy two, and she's forty three. Yeah, and she's Khalees. <laughs> <laughs> He's Bill Murray. I don't think it's the age thing. I just think, what the fuck? I love that you were going for singers, and he went, oh, "I'm going to go closer with Alicia Keys, and you're going to go Angela Merkel." Yeah, I was just being dead silly. <laughs> just being dead silly. 
Is she not black? Angela Merkel is not, no. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. You're thinking of Angela Bassett. I was thinking of Angela <laughs> Bassett. I was thinking of Mike Bassett. I was thinking of Ricky Tomlinson. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my yeah, god. Ricky Rick- Tomlinson would be good on this. No, he wouldn't know what was going on. <laughs> no. Also. Just live on the telly. <laughs> he's dating Keisha, so he's dead busy. <laughs> Keisha? 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 From the Sugar Babes. Ke- no, Lorraine? Keisha. Lorraine? Keisha? No, Keisha, no. Keisha? Keisha? I thought she was called Ricky Keisha. Tomlinson's my mum's cousin. <laughs> oh. And he knows someone who knew someone in Tom- Atomic Kitten. Yeah. And he's been, he's, it's actually, uh, he's been in Robot Wars. Yeah. No, Sugar Babes. Golf. Sugar babes. <laughs> Golf. Robot Wars. <laughs> Golf. <laughs> uh, McDonald's, Penrith. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't talk about that. Uh, Dance and nonce. <laughs> NFL. Laura. Yeah. Okay. No, was? Bill Murray in Khalees <laughs> is the weirdest shit I've ever seen. And she's fucking great, by the way, Khalees. She's got some rammers. She's got some absolute rammers. I've seen her rammers. What other songs is she Millionaire, mate, with trick, Andre 3000. Mama, I'm a millionaire. Trick me. Don't yeah. go and trick me twice. Uh, oh, what's the fuck? Hey. Baby, I got your money, you don't you worry. Oh, hey, hey, with old DB, got- yeah. with old day bastard, and now she's with one. Whoa, oh. thank you, thank you. Whoa, why are you having a go with Bill like that? Oh, he's, he's a flitty bugger. He oh, Bill's filth, mate. Do you reckon? Oh, absolutely, he loves golf. Does he? Bill Murray's an excellent golfer. You'd love him. Does all the pro arms, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you seen that? Just it's no look back shot that he does. He's, so he's class. Very good at golf. Do you reckon he's licked milkshake out of her bum hole? <laughs> Not yet. Do you reckon he's finger there? Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if they're dating. Why would you reject that as a concept and then go, I'm not interested in the milkshake from a bum hole? <laughs> Fingered? <laughs> <laughs> Penetrative sex. I don't think they have yet. Baby, I got your money, don't you worry. He's look at my tits and look at my bum hole. Bill Murray. <laughs> Baby, you're Bill Murray. <laughs> I'm fucking, hey, I'm fucking hey, Bill Murray. Baby, baby you're, you're Bill Murray. Murray. <laughs> look at my tits. Look at my bum hole. You no, know, I'm fucking They'll probably be Bill fucking Murray. married and divorced by the time this episode goes out. It's 10 days till this goes out. I'm fucking Old Bill news, Murray mate. with my pussy. Hey. Oh, look at me bum hole. Well, kind of song. not what? into it. Ken, has you got any correspondence? Yeah, we've got some questions. All right, <laughs> this one's from Jess. Hi, Dean, Adonis, Killian, and the Turkish one. When I was in my first year of uni, we had a party in our flat. A girl from the flat above us came and whilst drunk, ate a whole packet of Frankfurter sausages at Pre's. <laughs> we never at saw- what? At what? At Pre's. Pre drinks. Oh, at Pre's. Right. We never saw her again. My question is, if you had to eat one food at a social event to assert dominance, what would it be? What, just an absolute baller move? Just walk up to the buffet yeah. and eat all the cocktail sausages in front of a crying kid who's been told it's what not started yet. What did you go to? Who had cocktail sausages in a buffet at a pre <laughs> at your uni? Go to someone's house. I, I don't think there was Frankfurter sausages out at the pre's. I think she's gone into the fridge. So if you could go into a fridge or a freezer and just scram a whole one thing to... You cook whatever joint of meat they've got and then eat that. Like if they've got a leg of lamb in the fridge. Yeah. Just... The oven's been on for an hour. Leave it. <laughs> hang on, hang on. This'll, this'll, I'll assert my dominance as long as you just leave the oven on. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that lad that stood next to the oven? Is, Make, he, is he basted something? Make an omelette with all the eggs, no matter how many eggs it is. Because everyone's got more than one frying pan. I've Make a pan of scouts. Pan. Takes six hours. <laughs> <laughs> going and make a We're sc- going out. See you later. <laughs> Get in my house. Yeah, I'm making a skin go on. If so, if a random walked into my party, <laughs> this would be ready when you get back. Just open the milk and stood and drank all the milk. That'd be that's a red card offence for the party. You've got to leave. You can't open like that. I think be a if they drank all the milk, that is less offensive than like really tungly, like having a sip of milk and then putting the rest back. Tungly, tungly, tungly. <laughs> you know what I mean, though. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I hate the tungleys. Good rugby players though. <laughs> You know what I mean? Using your tongue to get the milk. Yeah. Like oh, yeah, yeah, Lips yeah. in the... Khalees knows what... Yeah. Mm. Like Bill Money trying to get the milkshake out of Khalees' asshole. <laughs> beans. <laughs> Tungly. Fill. So we got... When you have a pan of beans, it's just a bottom in it. Fill a pan with beans. So it takes about an hour to cook them. Like 20 tins of beans. And then say, oh, I'm not hungry. <laughs> Go, Joe, you know ever make a scran at the end? You don't want it. It just happened to me. <laughs> Where's the beer? <laughs> 
<laughs> she have used all twelve tins of beans that you had. What did she? Eat? A full, a full pack of Frankfurter sausages. <laughs> are they the ones that are that long? <laughs> Hot dog sausages, isn't it? Oh, she's cooked them, surely. She sounds. Yeah. She does not sound attractive, does she? If she's bought her own thing of Frankfurter sausages, just whapped it down and then just eating it one by one. No, I don't think she's brought her own. Oh, she's, she's just checked them out of their fridge, I think. Yeah. Oh, she might have just been trying to flirt with someone, but it went too far. Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't yeah. watching. She's just eating them. I've eaten one. Yeah, she's like, oh. <laughs> hey. Darren. And then someone else looks at her arm. Oh, no, not really. <laughs> she's done it eight times. <laughs> oh, I've got tummy ache because I want to fuck Darren. What's the. What the. <laughs> what Frankfurt is in? Brine? Yeah. Uh, and I don't know what oh, no, Frankfurt wait. I think they're in like a sealed packet. Like yeah, a, they are. Like a, 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 like a, like a pepper army. Yeah. A vac pack. Yeah. A vac pack, yeah. Right. Either way, it's a lizard, Rina. Absolute. You're a lizard, well, Harry. This leads on to the next bit, which is uh, from Jack H Hatfield, which he says is more of a section suggestion, but you don't dictate our content. I think I've uh, got just... a yellow card waiting to go. <laughs> oh, I'd have been sent off. <laughs> No, it would have been a strong yellow. And that's your last one. But carry on. Say it then. No. We've got some cards coming and a VAR screen. I'm We're getting a VAR make screen made over there instead of a Nando's. So just had a thought for a new section, noncy behavior. If you're one of those freaks who gets your dead skin scrammed by fish on holiday, your hard drives need checking. It's a bit... Um, it's, it's There's the a bit old hat now, isn't it? That, it does that not whole, like, simple pleasures. Do you it? remember a few years all ago? All the fish were dying, weren't they? No, a, a few years ago, it was just every sex. shopping centre and just some dirty, sweaty, like, oh, eat, eat my feet. Oh, God. It's it it caused done? infections, wasn't no. it? I've had it done. I've had it done. Have you? Yeah. I just got me uh, missus today. She's a nibbler. Yeah. Just uh, chew, chew all the fungus <laughs> off my feet. Fungus? It's caused many problems in relationships down the years. It's ended all of them. <laughs> yeah. No, Adam. It we'll could be off. a great deterrent in, in, in sharks. Deterrent? Bay. Deterrent, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're tungly. He <laughs> um, <laughs> keeps them in, you know. Shark, <laughs> sharks Bay. If you if they were like following the meat and Adam just like dropped his feet in there, the sharks would be like, well, I'm not, not into it. Not having that. Oh, rough. Yeah, I don't know. It's not. I don't know if it's noncy though, or if it's just a bit like... It's done, isn't it? It's just it? a bit hack. Is there anything else that you think is bang out of order that people just do? If, shoot, um, shoot, armed robbery. Yeah, shooting each other. Simple pleasure. <laughs> you know, when you just rob a bank. <laughs> Love it, isn't it? Because there's, there's, lo there's loads of money. You don't have to shoot anyone. Um, stuff that's out of order. Littering. I, mean, I hate littering. I you always see someone throw something out the car. It really winds me up. Yeah. You do that? I don't. Not anymore. I've grown up. <laughs> <laughs> when I was now a, that I've decided that other people doing it pisses me no, off. When I, I was, don't do it. When I was a stupid youngster. But now I'm like, what are you doing? Just keep it in your car. No, it's just scummy as fuck. It's just such a dickhead thing to do. People smoking in the car as well. And then you wonder why round where you live looks like shit. It's because loads of people are like, no, I don't need anymore. That's the thing. I just don't fuck listen off. where I live. Oh. I listen in other towns. Bring the house prices down oh. for them. Do you know what I did the other day in the uh, Mackey's drive through There was a gentleman sat there. Do you know the ones who were uh, asking for money and the, but they sit in between the windows? Yeah. Have seen them? No, we don't have them in Chester. What? So it, you know, like beggars, like homeless people, they sit in between the two windows at Mackey's because that's oh, a yeah, prime man. opportunity. Do they make their own window? No. Can you go to window three? What about window 2B? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got any money. And I literally pulled up alongside them. It was a lovely day. I had my sunroof down and he looked, they looked awful. I was like, oh, God, I feel like a dickhead. I was like, mate, I genuinely haven't got any cash. I'm You've so got sorry. have a sachet of salt. No, I went, do you want a bottle of white wine, though? And he went, yeah. So I had two bottles of Sauvignon in the booth and gave him that. What if he was, like, two years sober and you've just, like, put him back off the edge? He seemed made Mate, up. if he's two years sober and he's in between the windows at McDonald's, I don't think sobriety's working out. <laughs> Get back on the Sauvignon. <laughs> He was made up. Two Imagine bottles of wine. if he was like, what year is it? <laughs> oh, 2017. Two bottles of white wine. Bosh. I, I didn't want to win my car no more because I heard them rattling all the time. He wants wine. Bam, two birds, one stone. <laughs> Simple pleasure. Giving Sauvignon Blanc to homeless people. <laughs> isn't it? Every time it happens to me. I'm like, oh, that chinking in my boot was really annoying. <laughs> of the glass bottles. <laughs> of the glass. Just, uh, can we, VAR. And gone. The You're just on. Just. I am absolutely on side. It's your racist ears that heard something there. You said chinking. That is not on us. He's of bent the his run. He's bent his run. He was offside and he's come back on. And <laughs> yeah, but the last time putting his flag up is like, is, is way <laughs> within his rights to go. I think we need to look at that. Yeah. If two, if you have two glass bottles <laughs> in the boot, they start they clinking together. They clank. No, they clink. 
Can we meet halfway? Clink. Yeah. Clink, clink. Clunk and chink. Yeah. Clank. You can't be saying things are chinking, Dan. They do it really make a chink. It just sounds, sounds wrong, no, You're not making it racist. I'm, I'm not. The it's, it is inherently racist. Ratchet and clank. All right, I'll take the yellow. Yeah, yeah. I'm giving myself <laughs> one. Not the yellow. Anyway. So Sauvignon Blanc, you're a big fan. Give homeless people wine. Big fan. The man in the thing judged me to fuck, by the way. The man gave me this guy. I was like, he wants wine and I've given me. Fuck off. Give him a beer. Your bit well. about that used to be fucking great. <laughs> you're taking away choice. <laughs> We're not oh, giving yeah. money. Give him a sandwich. Fuck off. He right. wants cider. Yeah. All right. Club comic special. Anyone hasn't seen it? Such a good. It's such a good bit. Oh, can you all go and watch Juicy again? Because it's at like two thousand views away from two hundred k. Yeah, and can ninety thousand of you watch <laughs> Smasher again? Because it's ninety thousand views off two hundred k. Thank you. <laughs> ninety. Yeah, I'm not. I'm so glad it passed the hundred. It's really. I was such a nice thing. That's very genuinely rare. didn't know what it was going to do, but um, that's oh, not it's a so common f- thing. It, no, no. hundred thousand views is insane. No, I mean, th- that's next level. What Adam's got, what Adam's done, but then you just don't know how that's going to go for me, and it's just because of these. I put a lot more clips out from mine as, as well, which I think boosted it. Mm. Yeah, awesome. I'm going to put even more out when my tour gets. You know, I'm just uh, I'm bad me time now. All right, what's the next one? Come right. on tour. Got a question from Cam Alto. Oh, he's back. Uh, if you could turn a finger. Uh, mm-hmm. one of your fingers into a tap or compartment containing different never-ending liquids or sauces for oh. you to use on the go, what would you choose? Oh, so you've got like Inspector Gadget you've got condiment that. fingers. He said every finger. I think, I just think one, one finger. One finger is, the, is a better choice. Your little choice. finger as well. So you, I think it's this one. That's no, the most used. Then you're going to get sauce all over your phone. Yeah, but you can choose when you dispense it. It's like got a little lid on it. In no, because you'd have to wipe it I'd break time. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you'd lose a little <laughs> Oh, you'd scratch it. Mm. Right, okay. No fine. hot sauce. Fine, we'll go for left pinky. Yeah. yeah. Left pinky. Your left pinky. Yeah. What's that called for? Dispenses some sort of liquid I only or use sauce. that to make promises. Yeah. Um, might maybe hot sauce, you know. You have five sauces. So he's, his his examples are, you could have a thumb that dispenses Guinness um, or a Frank's hot sauce finger. Oh, I've got one. Or a WD-40 finger. Petrol thumbs. <laughs> You get one finger. You get this little finger. Fill it with petrol. That's going to be a slow fill up. Yeah, it's going to cost maybe loads of money. No, it? you don't know how fast it comes out. I'm dictating it. Oh, oh it's thin. It's I love it when you're assertive. How long does it take me to fill a tank? It's slow. It's like a bottle of sauce, so you're not getting much out of it. Oh, it's enough if you've broken down. That well, you then could... it's going to have to be sauced, isn't it? Be asked waiting an hour and a half to fill my car up or to pour a pint. Yeah. It wouldn't take that long to pour a pint compared to filling a tank. Um, I think honestly, just having water in your finger might be fucking dead useful. It's a really fun answer as well. <laughs> might, if you need a shower, you could just like the elixir of life. <laughs> just wash your wash your face. You're in a desert. Like I'm to, always getting caught out in deserts. I just like to put a nice little steady interest rate in mine. Oh, two no, yeah. percent. Well, nice. that's good actually. It's a poor interest rate, isn't it? Yeah, but it's interest and all interest interest. It's not interesting though, is it? I should like a glass of water every now and then. I'll take water. Um, What's yours? Fuck not. Oh, yeah. 200k. Oh yeah, that's true. Tequila. If you are caught in the desert, uh, and you know like- Which has happened to me several times. Oh well, yeah. uh, the amount you play in the sand. Um, Could you, would beer <laughs> save your life? Or would eventually you just be- It dehydrates you. Actually pickled. It dehydrates you. Really? Beer, yeah. Oh, that'd be a great battle, though, oh, wouldn't yeah, it? Headache, you, know? you, the sun, and your finger of beer just constantly going like, oh, it's not working. Just be like... So it's a good way to die, though. Just get bladdered in the desert. What about arsenic? It's not liquid. Is it not? Liquid arsenic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in water. Just in case I'm ever in a hostage situation. Done. <laughs> yeah. Never swill anyone's drink, though. <laughs> Just well, case. I could though, couldn't I? Oh God! Someone's a bit rude. Fuck off! You'd be an amazing hitman. Yeah. Just a little. Bam! What did you name my drink? Nothing. No. You could do that without having it. You could just have arsenic on your finger. <laughs> oh yeah. 
Good point. Oh, just a bag of arsenic. <laughs> it needs to be in your finger to yeah. get away with it. I'm back to water. <laughs> I'm going with petrol even still. Okay. Uh, I'm going with beer. Beer. You're going with water. Liquid gold. <laughs> I don't know what you do with it. You'd have to just wait for a cold day and just make little gold poos and try and sell them at a pawn shop. Like a little Mr. Whippy coming out of your finger. I've got some gold to pawn. Why is it the shape of a poo? It's more of an ice cream. That old water. <laughs> that old water. You know, it's a toss up really, isn't it? Gold. <laughs> Liquid Pinky. poo making machines. <laughs> or water. Good question though, Finn. Like that one. Right, we're going to do some underrated overrated. Uh, yes. Press the button. Uh, give me two seconds. Thank you. Overrated or underrated to hit your wife with a shovel. Bang, bang. Right, so this one is from Beth W. I have an underrated overrated for you. An omelette from the Chinese. <laughs> I, honestly. She should be investigated for oh, war she, crimes. Is she on the nonce from before? No, she's nonce. not a paedophile, but I think she might have been involved with 9-11. That is yeah. an absolute <laughs> terrible lame, attack of a question. That is oh good. my God, who's getting it? No, what are you doing? I'm hungry, what are you trying to get Chinese, yeah? Get me an omelette. What are you doing? An omelette's like one of the worst types of breakfast eggs. Never mind. You're getting a Chinese. You want to ruin your fucking week with like. Yeah. Is it an option at every Chinese that? Yeah. <laughs> they love an omelet. The Chinese people. <laughs> do they? <laughs> they do. You Foo Young, mate. Is that his name? That's what they call it. Oh. Oh right. Like Foo Young is like an omelet that's been chopped up, but sometimes they just do you an omelet. Right. Yeah. On if you go in, you do the, the Sam Allardyce looking at the menu. <laughs> like there's there's a. There's always omelette on a Chinese menu. Philip Schofield loves it. He likes too young. Oh, Matthew nearly clapped. Fuck <laughs> off. Because he shucks kids. Oh. 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 Sorry. Yeah, I thought he funny. knew a Chinese guy with that name. <laughs> no, oh, mad. He I likes d- underage kids. Oh, that, I, so. I honestly, like, if she's eating, the fact she's asked that means that that's what she gets. No one who doesn't get omelettes is going, I'm going to write in and see if they like omelettes from the Chinese. Because I don't. What's that going to marry with at the Chinese? Then just your normal Chinese and then an omelette on the side. What do you put with omelette? Rice? Yeah. Fucking madness, mate. Chips. Maybe? Just get like an egg fried know. rice. Yeah, do that. This Salt and pepper ribs, chicken fried rice, curry sauce. Oh, that's why I did the nice prawn toast. Yeah. Oh, I made prawn toast dip in your hot, hot soup. Jesus. This is from Danny Starving. Danny Cooper. Log Coops, log burners. They they. They get better as you get older, so you love them. They're really good. Yeah. Bill Murray loves them as well. Yeah. Oh, mate, ours was put in by Khalees. She's great. She Honestly, she's moved on from pop stars. Fire's just, just great, isn't it? Log burners Fire near Ellesmere great. Port. But it's not, it's not messy. Bit. It's just a little fucking fire thing, and you don't really have to clean them. It's, well, a little bit, but... Are you talking outside? I think log burner for me is like a... A uh, uh, living room. Oh, I'm thinking one of them bins outside that you put stuff in. That's what I was thinking. A bin fire. Not a log burn. I'm thinking no, petrol you know bombs. What are they called? Bin fires have them over here. You mean a fire pit? <laughs> that. Yeah, yeah no. fire. Are they not the same? You're thing? asking no. lads, is fire underrated or overrated? <laughs> it's underrated unless it's your house that's on fire. This button made fire. I fucking it. love burning stuff. It's great. My fire pit outside, class. The log burner inside, absolutely class. I fucking love it. Underrated. It gets hot as well, doesn't it? You c- Fire? Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, your living room, if you close the door and put the long burning on, your living yeah. room gets hot. Oh, it's decent. It's not cheap, Sweet. like. Right, this one's from Landry. ASMR porn. Never, ever watched it or listened to it, whatever it is. Is it just audio? It's when they're like... I'm saying, is it just audio or is it video? No, sometimes there's videos video. to go along with it. Never watched it or listened to it. What was that? What was that? Podcast porn? Audio porn? I've never even... No, but ASMR is audio, isn't it? It's usually with a video, though. It's not like you download it on Pocket Cast and then like, oh my God, yeah, you bummed me. <laughs> <laughs> Good ASMR, man. If you like podcasts... <laughs> oh, my asshole. Have you tried pod- just whispering podcast porn? porn? He bummed me. Oh, yeah. Welcome back to podcast porn. Put it me, cunt. I love dick, me. Ooh. Imagine Angela Merkel fucking Bill Murray. Ooh, nice. Porn in the cupboard, isn't it? I think you're just trying to not get caught. Bum me, bum me. Porn in the cupboard? <laughs> Tell her you don't get caught wanking. Is that what you do at home? All on the stairs. Sarah, I just uh, don't, don't come in the cupboard for a minute. I'm busy. You're not having another pantry wanker. For a minute, he's just in and out that cupboard. Uh, Loves porn. that cupboard. Porn on the stairs is good as well. 
Nu står porne, der er kommet. Åh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, men det er godt igen. Uh, next one. Right, this is from Joe. Uh, underrated or overrated? New seasons football kits, like the releases of them. Uh, they need to stop. It should be like once every two years. Like it used to be. It yeah. should not be been exciting. For ages, has it? I have to admit, I do like checking out new kits. But the scam, the, the new scam of the stadium version and the player version. Oh, that is oh, fucking yeah. disgusting because it makes Bad kids that all look like a gimp in school. So they have to get the good one, which means the parents are spending 200 quid. It was about 20 years ago that clubs worked out. I think it was like United worked out. They're like, why are we waiting every two years? Was it Nike with United? I don't think Umbro did it. I think Umbro got you got your two years out of it. And then Nike were like, we should just be releasing a new kit every season. They were like, we should, shouldn't we? Fucking hell. I don't like it. Get on the H gate. When you're on a you're fourth fine. kit, and when people are like, oh, well, the kids have got to have them. They've got to have all four kits. Like, no, they fucking don't. That's what I mean. Time to pick one for Christmas. There's four kits for the players, and then there's normally two or three goalkeeper kits. You could be getting your kids seven kits if they're like... And that could be... By the way, grand. if you're a kid, or if you've got a kid that's got seven kits in one season, what fucking Euro millions have you won? That's oh, I cannot believe that any parents go. It's ridiculous what they're doing. We have to spend over seventeen hundred quid on kits. <laughs> Bullshit. And he needs the stadium and then oh bollocks. But yeah, it's a uh, like a full kit now for the child is like eighty quid. What am I going to do with Jack and football? What if he starts? Should I start? I can't force Watford onto him. I'm not asked enough. I want him to watch NFL. Should I just nudge him to like look? Uncle Adam will get you boss tickets because he knows some dodgy guns. Let's just go with Uncle Adam. Like, yeah. if he's into football, should I just, like, like yeah. Liverpool? What's your nearest team, Chester? Yeah. You know, he's never going to give a shit about that, is he? Yeah. The next one's Tramia. Oh, yeah. Get on Tramia to Do you know what? Could, Wrexham could be a laugh. Yeah. 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 Because then you can go to Wrexham. Just do Liverpool. Just, yeah. Just, just do Liverpool. Liverpool. Don't go for Evan. Okay. Right. I'll see what he says. Because you, you've chosen Jack's there. He's not born. I'm not. He can do what he wants. They are watching the NFL, though. I got forced to watch the Formula One by my dad, and I was into it, so I'm hoping it's going to work. Etta likes the Minnesota Vikings because they're purple. It's great. I'm just getting it going. That's, is that my Sunday team? night? Yeah. It's daddy and kids time. It's not really. It's, my team. it's just NFL. <laughs> right, last one. Emma Finney says Miller and Carter. <laughs> totally and utterly overrated. They're bad at cooking steak. It's, why is it so salty every time? And I actually kind of like... They're bad. And the service is shit. They're bad. They don't put enough crust on it either. It's, it's, they just, I went a couple of weeks ago and I had to send it back because my steak was blue. I've had some poo steaks at Miller and Carter considering they're meant to be a steak. I've never been. So what is it? Is this as good as like the ones you've taken me to like Hawksmoor and that? It's 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 not on, it's it's supposed to be a Hawksmoor. It isn't the same food. It's not on the same stratosphere as Hawksmoor. They've got a dress code. Miller and Carter's pathetic. The one for what it's meant to be. It's got a dress code. You're like, behave. The one by me has. Oh, I went in trackies a couple of weeks ago to the Orton one. Yeah, I don't think you're not getting in, but they try and like, you know. Yeah, it's it's really like for what it is and how much you pay, it's a bad steak. It is expensive as well. Yeah. Like it's a little bit more in Hawksmoor and they are leagues ahead. Yeah. Oh, can we go to Hawksmoor and just not do the second half? Hawksmoor was, oh mate, that's got, we got about four tons worth of steak. It was fine. Jesus. Break time. Break it down. Come in. Okay, baby. What's happening, lids? How are we doing? I don't know whether you've heard the news, but it is smooth sack summer for 2023. That's right. You're going to need Manscaped and their products, manscaped.com, to get your sack nice and smooth with the performance package, the platinum package, the perfect package, whatever package you choose. If you use the promo code WEIRD20, you get 20% off and free delivery worldwide. For example, if you go for the platinum package, you get the Lawnmower 4.0 water resistant pube trimmer. You get the Weed Whacker 2.0, the ear and nose trimmer. You get a two in one shampoo and conditioner. You get a body wash, a deodorant for your balls, a crop preserver for your balls, a crop reviver for your balls, a magic mat, like a shavable, a, a, a shaving mat, so it catches all your hair, it doesn't go all over your bathroom. And you get free gifts. You get the shed, which is the travel bag, which is worth $40. And you get the Manscaped undies, which are literally the comfiest undies I own mate okay go to manscaped.com right now use the promo code weird 20 20 off and free delivery worldwide and also manscaped have got some game changing products coming in the very near future so keep an eye on future adverts if you're already a manscaped user thanks to us and you've used our promo code to get yourself this discount and this free free delivery there is more stuff coming very soon 
Manscaped are our sponsors for three years nearly. They're absolutely fantastic. We push them because we believe in them. Everyone who works here uses this stuff to keep their pubes clear so that they can get sucked off more often. Why don't you do the same? Get yourself a blowy. It's Pride Month. Oh, we're back. Part three of this week's episode, and we are joined by oh. touring comedian <laughs> Stephen Bailey. I thought you were going to say, like, Tory or something. Uh, <laughs> no, you've come back to the North. I've come back, yeah, I've changed back now, yeah. The just... North were calling, COVID struck. He was like, I need to be with me people it's in a not... total down. It's cheaper. Yeah. That is literally, I can't believe how tight I am. <laughs> not anally. Okay. Not anally. <laughs> Thank you. Well, actually, I am anally as well. It's been ages since anything's been up there. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything? Or a man? Both. <laughs> really? What, what Bit ages? Of toilet paper. What ages, though? Um, <laughs> Hang on, you put the toilet paper up your arsehole? I would say not since 2020, because I'm not going to lie to you. I've become, I've turned 30, well, I'm over 30 now. But then I also got IBS, and it's just a disaster back oh, there. Man. Have you got IBS? IBS? Well, it's not been diagnosed. And that's why he's not been doing but any I, bumming. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I actually still have a little play every now and then. With yourself? Yeah. Oh, I've never done that. He calls it danger play. You never had a little... No, I let other people do it. Really? Yeah. The cleaners? Mm. Yeah. I'm not Especially... into my own arsehole. You're not, you're not into your arsehole? No. Any arsehole? No, I'm into arseholes. Yeah. Ladies, obviously. Or well, one well, ladies. All right. Um, <laughs> an arsehole's an arsehole. <laughs> I'm just not into my own arsehole. It doesn't, it doesn't do it for me. Yeah. How do you know, though? Because I don't like my own arsehole. What don't yeah, you like you about tried. it? I don't like it. It's my arsehole. It's me to do a poo. <laughs> is it a weird shape? No, it's a it's a fine arsehole, but I'm, like he said, he Massive. has a little plane that turns him on. Me playing with my ass wouldn't turn me on. Is what I mean? Yeah. It like I can't get myself going by playing with my arsehole, but <laughs> once I'm in the middle of it, it does improve. Do you know what I wonder all the time? Is like, who do you think the first man was to shove their finger up their bum? It's my uncle John. <laughs> <laughs> Prehistoric John. How long is it going to take us to get into this? <laughs> oh, that is a record for bum chat. Do normally we start gentle and then we go to anal? No, we <laughs> always talk about bumming. It's oh, okay, nothing fine. to do with you being here. I mean, that's helped. <laughs> but that is a record from a standing start. Yeah, let's talk about the cost of living crisis. No, ass play. Straight away. <laughs> Cold open. Oh, Dan's never had any ass play. None. Ever. I don't get enough. Has a girl never done it? Because my friend, I shan't say who, but she loves giving a rimmy. I thought you said she You've was called her. a shance. I, <coughs> I love a shance. No, I do love a shance. I her. know many a woman who loves licking bumholes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> who have I met? My friend. The one that got away? Yep. She's a, She snuffles for truffles? Yep. Oh my God. Hey, oh. What chocolate of choice do you pop up there before you let someone enter Oh, it? a lint white chocolate. Oh, yeah. A Lindor chocolate ball. I agree. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it just yeah, makes yeah. it classic. Flake, they don't yeah. melt. Don't cough, you'll bruise her eye. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Shoot it. I can. Can I use that on my tour yeah, show? Yeah, you can have it. That's very much the have level it. we're going for. <laughs> have it. Down in the arsehole. Who've I met? So many people. <laughs> I know, but who've I met of yours? A friend of Steve. It's not like anyone famous. Oh, Brendan Reese. Can you yes, say it? That's yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. it. It's Can Brennan you say Reece. it? I'll bleep it out. It's Brennan Reese. <laughs> it's Brennan. I won't bleep it out. <laughs> it's not Brennan. It's my friend. Oh, what a what a woman. We'll bleep that. Just give them a name, Jake. Call him Jake. <laughs> Call her Jake. We can stick with Brennan. Okay. Well, will you send him our regards? I will. You know, I, will. I mean, she's not rimmed you, by the way. Now I feel like you look confused, like <laughs> yes. she's rimmed you. I just I, mean I she enjoys your it. Friend me. Yeah, <laughs> it's like you've I gone remember. so deep into it. You no, just like... I'm just trying to place. So I remember yeah. if I get divorced. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, got got a number. I'm not literally going. Hang on, I remember most of the rimmings. <laughs> He's not coming to me. <laughs> I remember a shanty. <laughs> um, to be yeah. fair, you never forget a good rim. That's a fact. That's a fact. That is it. Hold on, you said you don't like anything happening in your body. No, I don't like doing my own body. Oh. My body doesn't turn me on. But you allow others but to go others there. Can oh, go. Yeah. yeah, others can go there. All well, the world hold on, let's not forget seven. what you said. Other women. Women? Yeah, oh. I know, he protests too much, do yeah, yeah. Oh, everyone, I remember my <laughs> only women. I'd watch the Canadian Grand Prix in the afternoon and then she went to... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Because of time difference, it is an evening, <laughs> an evening start on that race. Oh, was it a hot yeah, day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Robert Kubitz had a nasty crash in a BMW, and she was like, "I don't want to make him feel better." Snuffling for truffles. She licked oh his ass. Oh my god! 
<laughs> Do you want to make him feel better? <laughs> I'm going to lick your bum that off. mouth. <laughs> Do straight men keep keep back there as clean as we do? Yeah. <laughs> Adam, we do, don't we? <laughs> Me and Carl do. Yeah. We've got a Japanese toilet seat. Do you? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Like you press the button, the code, and it just goes... It does everything. Yeah. Oh. It'll do your tax return if you press enough ones. <laughs> I reckon it could. <laughs> it's heated. It's got water front and back for the lady oh. and the man. Does it? <laughs> Steve, yeah. you're the business manager. 39 the business degrees. Water a, and uh, seat. It's Fahrenheit. Change. Not like oh, Celsius. I was, Not boiling half a mole, I was going to say. Oh, it's beautiful. Can you adjust the temperature? You can. Oh, yeah, you can. Oh oh down. Even. I'll buy you one right now if we stop talking about it. I'll if you buy me it. one, I'll stop talking about it. Just go to Washloo.co.uk right UK and use Gwed Cold. Oh, yeah. And it plays the Canadian Grand Prix from 2006. <laughs> That's a fucking great piece of machinery. If you want one, give me a shot. I'll get you 10% off. Uh, yeah, so I, I I don't think I've ever been a clean man back there until uh, last Christmas when Carl got me that as a Christmas present. And so was it the toilet seat that made <clears> you change your behaviour, not a person? Yeah. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. I, think I was, don't, I I don't use it man. because it cleans my arsehole. I use it because it feels nice. Yeah. Like Good the clean's like a side effect, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm proud of that. Yeah. I really it am. It just feels great. This isn't a rented flat, so when he moves out, someone's getting a hell of a toilet. No, they, the fella's going to come and bring yeah, it no, up. We've sorted it. It's going with him. He's Gosh, already we... paid for the engineer in advance to come and remove it and take it to my new gaff. Yes. When you're moving? I'm not. Oh. <laughs> but it's ready. <laughs> but we've already got it written into the contract. Haven't we? Yeah. No, they're, they're trying to come move. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get a solicitor on that contract? <laughs> Yeah, that's a contract because I've just said it out loud and that's how contracts work. I love that happened. He was cooking our roast dinner, Stephen, for Christmas, all of us. And I went to... Oh, I had a Christmas just... dinner for the team. Yeah. That's so nice. And I went, oh, there's just some fella downstairs fitting you a new toilet seat. And he was like, cool. <laughs> Do you know what I must say about your guys' team? They're very handsome. Who have we got? Tim, in here. Yeah, you are fit. Yeah. Ooh. Careful, though, sure. he stands. Thanks. It, yeah, careful what? I'm Dan's. Dan's. What do you do with him? I look after him. <laughs> I'm nice to him. Take him for a new Nando's and I got him a job as a runner. Do you give him cuddles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, stayed, well they shared age. the hotel room in Weatherby last night. For no Despite reason. Despite the fact that the company is, you know, doing quite well. Yeah, I was like going to say, why are you sharing a hotel room? You're rich now. Listen, you, you can't pay for a little spoon. <laughs> you can't. You I've literally can. Yeah. John Lewis. Not in Weatherby. <laughs> that isn't no, available. probably not in Weatherby. Although, just download Grinder for those nights. I just want a spoon, not a full. You Could know. you get a cuddler? Yeah. Could you? Yeah. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? I a cuddle I think, prostitute. I think that's a great job. If a cuddle, if a cuddle on grinder went wrong, that's on you, that isn't it? No. <laughs> oh, I, I think it's disgusting. <laughs> I just wanted a big spoon, and there's your Willie in me thigh. No, but not on grinder. Like obviously on grinder. Like I reckon if you, you know, was like coming around to man for a cuddle, people are going to expect that some other stuff might happen. But what if like I set up like an app, you know, like Tinder or Grinder or whatever, big spoon, and little spoon. Yeah, no, and it's for, like, it's for like widows. Cuddler. You know, like a widow who's recently lost their husband and they just want to feel the warmth of another body oh. in their bed. Oh, yeah. That's nice. That's bleak. Yeah. Yeah. No, Come not. here, Maureen. Why is that bleak? Why don't you Sad. expand it, though, so it's not just for widowers? It's, it's like also people. for ugly people who can't get a fuck. <laughs> you got a name for this brand? Cuddler. Widows and ugly fuckers. No, Cuddler. It's going to be one Cuddler. word. Bash. Yeah, Cuddler. 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 No, it's C-D-L-R. Yes. There's no vowels in it. Cuddler. Cuddler. Well, let's get it on Dragons then. I would download that. I really would. Just to see who's on it as well, you know. Yeah. Can you get friends on Grinder? Like genuinely, like, I want to go for a beer. But have you said it? <laughs> yeah. No, but oh, all these gay a, guys are boring me. No, Put the one where new, Eddie won't move out. In a new city and you just want <laughs> someone to drink with. Could you go on and go, I just want to drink? I mean, I think you could pass it off as that, but no. Oh, really? You no, could. I think everyone's just looking for penetration. And <laughs> right. the other thing is, like a lot of like profile pictures on Grindr are like your chest. Oh, right. It's oh, not so really your face. Just flexing. Or it's like the grinder logo because they don't want to put their face up. That normally means they're like married. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, Have you ever really? fucked a married man? Not that I know of. <laughs> but oh, yeah. that mean, doesn't mean no, does it? In this day and age, I did. My first boyfriend, we were together for three years and then he went into the Navy, but then came out straight, which is the wrong way around. That is the wrong way around. <laughs> <And> yeah. <laughs> what happened what? to him? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 
that's happened. I don't really, I don't know the logistics. The boat might have rocked. He just fell into a vagina. I don't know what happened. <laughs> but that is, then it, I thought one day we'll come back round. No, that never happened. So he had to come out as straight. Yeah. Straight Which off I the hear boat. is very difficult. Right. Yeah. yeah. In this very, day and age. Very unaccepted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Your gay friends do not want that. <laughs> right. Yeah. Mad. And now he's married. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Good for them. Good for him. Yeah. No, I'm, ag- I'm, I'm against so it. I'm so happy for <laughs> <Awful>. him. <laughs> <laughs> Hope they're very happy and they're semi-detached. <laughs> oh, Good. you'll turn them, Stephen. Straight. No, I, yeah, I turned them the wrong way. God damn it. That's mad. So Grinder's just, I've, if I've, you literally went on for a pint, if you, like if you went on, if there's, there's no, is there a friendlier Grinder? Grinder, if Grinder's for D, Tinder? is there a Tinder, sort of like, yeah. Tinder, I know oh, people who use it for yeah. Bumble's got Bumble friends on it. Yeah, we're allowed on all the others, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> what, muslimdating.com? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, As we said before, you it's just people who like dating Muslims. You don't have to be a Muslim. There is a Muslim Tinder, though, and it's got an actual name. I get recommended it a lot because of my name. Like, it just, YouTube always shows me pictures of it, and it's like, go and get on muslimdating.com or whatever it's called. Yeah. I've but not I'm done saying, it you don't have yet. to be Muslim, though. It's called Muz. Okay. It's M U double Z. No vowels. Um, <laughs> yeah. There, there's three. There's Muslim dating app UK, Muz, and there's Salams. Do you think that's like a takeaway? <laughs> so our new sponsors. The only ones that are open, lad. Our new sponsors is Muz.com <laughs> and Japanese toilet seats. It is a great idea, though, because I always thought like I wanted like. Um, are you allowed to say scally these days? Like a northern chav, like yeah. a man that wore like the grey trackies where everything's swinging. They have that limp, like they've got like um, an osteopath problem. Do you know what they like? What, like that? Yeah. And that's always what I've wanted from life. So like someone that's like, uh, isn't it? But that's a big thing, isn't it? It's, it's a bit, it's a type in grey like trackies. Is a big yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like scally, scally. Yeah, 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 yeah. When I have my grey tracky shorts on, my missus is a lot more pervy. She's constantly looking at yeah. me cock And are they gay? Uh, not gay. Are they grey? Um, <laughs> what's cotton, the material? Cotton, 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 yeah. yeah. It has to be grey yeah. cotton, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I've got North Face grey shorts. And whenever me, me things flapping about in them, she's always like looking at me cock. <laughs> through me shorts. I mean, all, realistically, yeah. it's so inappropriate, but we all do it. It's... There is nothing I can do about the fact if a, if an attractive lady walks past. I don't even mean like facially. Just if a, a girl walks past me and she's got a fantastic bum hole, I'm having a look. <laughs> How do you know she's got a face? Oh, can you tell she's got a nice bum hole with a face? No, like she's walking away from me. So I can see the back of her head and her asshole and I know she's got a good bum hole. I'm not, not looking at that. He does not got clothes on. He doesn't literally mean bum hole. He just means oh, like bum. a bum. Yeah. Got it. The whole I was really taking like... that very... You yeah. say yeah. you're not, not looking, but you're surely going to turn around. It's no, me. she's walking away. No, oh. she's like over talking. Oh, she's over talk, yeah. Yeah, she's a fast bum hole walker. Right. Yeah. Look at her. I feel like I'm at a stage in my life, though, where I fancy absolutely frigging everyone. Oh, that's great, isn't it? Like, I really do, because I'm like, oh, they have nice eyes. And then you've got the people that are just fit. And then you go, oh, they're hairy. Do you know what I mean? Have yeah. you got any fetishes? Like, it's stuff that you're into. Not, <laughs> not like a fetish. I'm not talking about like. Putting a pineapple up your ass, like Jordan sex. I just mean like anything that like people can dress as or something that, you know what I mean? Like after Nashville, cowgirl boots and cowgirl hats. I mean before Nashville, but like, especially after Nashville. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. Cowboys the- are hot. I would say, I've always had a thing. This is weird actually though, I think. Like men's armpit hair. That's when I knew I was in love with Zac Efron. Do you know who that is? Yeah, yes. high school musical. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Soaring, flying. There's not a star in heaven that we can reach. If we're trying, then we're oh. breaking free. Guys, like, I am so proud. This is so inclusive. It's a good one, man. <laughs> I used to watch that every time I was hungover from the age of thirteen. I was in high school musical. And now I no, can what? Not that one. Watch. Our stage production. The first, <laughs> the first ever stage production oh, well, in the I UK. I knew I was attracted to that one. <laughs> he's Selena Gomez. <laughs> he's a bit. He's a Jack guy now, and he's a good-looking fella now, and he's massive. Zach. Yeah. 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 He's wow. also in the greatest what? show. What are you on about? Is he? Hey? This is the great. He's never, never been a pudgy like. No, but, no, but now he's jacked. He looks even better. He oh, used to I be just... a slender little dolphin, but now he's a big yeah. bear. Back to <laughs> dolphins back. He's dead. Zach Efron is not a bear. Zach Efron. He's not a bear. Flying. Scouse fish. 
He's absolutely stunning everywhere. He is fit. He Why didn't you join him with the song? I only know one song from High School Musical. Now I can hardly breathe. You really know that? What's that one? Well, yeah, thank you. It's from High School Musical. Which High School Musical? That's not in the first one. This is wrong. It's, it's, it's on the second one either. It's, no. It's High School uh, Musical 3. Well, High School Musical 3 senior year. No, Get out. I, I, was, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think you are right, actually, but I can't. It's one of the shit songs. Oh, come on. They're gonna get yeah. it on. Yeah, you're right. It's High School Musical 3. Then why you know are you why? pretending? It, it was repeatedly played when I was at the New Zealand Comedy Festival in 2009 on the hotel uh, TV that I was watching, it just kept throwing it up and it fucking brainwashed me. So when everyone does High School Musical, I just remember that scene on the basketball court. I couldn't give two fucks about High School Musical. Whoa. Oh, the first two are fantastic. Yes. It's so great. The storyline's really like thought provoking and it's deep yeah. and it's like, yeah. it really like molded me into who I am today, you know? Yeah, more high, more musical. Yeah. I loved it. <laughs> I love great. She's the Man. That's She's the man's that is film. a great yes. film. film. Amanda what a Bynes. wonderful film. Chan yeah. and Tatum, and like she's like fucking wow, wow, wow. Uh, Amanda Bynes. Bynes Amanda Bynes, yeah. Bynes, yeah. Fucking Vinnie great Jones film. is in that film, isn't he? He is. Yeah, he is. Yeah. yeah. I want to do a podcast with you two. Hey. You watch everything I watch. Bend it like Beckham. <laughs> yeah, I've seen Bend It Like Beckham. Fucking I thought you said something else. Then I was like, <laughs> another great film. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, it's got one of the funniest scenes in it of all time, though. <laughs> the racism scene. Have you seen it? I can't remember it. In so, Bend you know, like the Beckham. Asian girl in it? Oh, my God. Is in it, it like Beckham? Is it oh, sad that I now want to watch this? What? Bend It Like Beckham. Which film? Oh, she's the man. She's the, she's no, she's... Bend It Like Beckham. Right, okay. So, the Asian girl goes up to the, the, the Irish football coach, and she goes, do you not understand? Th- he called me a... Oh, and then yeah. the horrible way for Pakistani people. Yeah, yeah. And she goes, he called me that. You'd never understand it. And he grabs her and goes... Of course I'd understand it. I'm Irish. <laughs> that is Bennett like Beckham, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if anyone says, is that Bennett like Beckham? One more time. <laughs> Hang on, just to clear up. Is that Bennett like Beckham? Keira Knightley. Or is that the pianist? Oh, you see the Liverpool sign Alexis McAllister. Do you think oh David Beckham God. got paid for his name being in the title? No. Uh, he wasn't in it, was it? It was no, just a poster. No, off just a poster. Yeah. You can't get... No. no. He's, no I bet he's, he's got image and name and rights over his own. Brand and that is his brand. Surely. Yeah, yeah, I reckon yeah. Did he get a bit of dough. Yeah, maybe. he must maybe, have been. Yeah, must maybe. have been. That's what would have sold it, isn't it? Because I'm not going to go and watch a football film. Yeah, but you think they? Yeah, if it was oh, called Bend enough, It like Bruno enough. Shader. It wouldn't have done yeah. the same box office figures, <laughs> would it? Not quite as well. <laughs> oh, bend it like fucking Phil Bab. <laughs> have you guys ever spoke about Bend It Like Beckham before today? Never. That's why we're getting it all out. I we can't. spoke it like we spoke about She's the Man before Defo. Yeah, we've also spoke about these type of films that are sort of <laughs> because I love films like this. Yeah, and they don't I, get made anymore. Mean Girls is the, one of the best films ever made. Mean Girls is one of the best films. <laughs> oh my god! When did I you guys start your period? My, <laughs> no, <laughs> it's such a guilty pleasure. It's, it's fucking. Incredible. I'm not even guilty about Legally it. Blonde's great as Legally Blonde's well. Legally Blonde's great. Legally Blonde is one of the best films of our generation. Thank you. And it's back good. to Mean Girls, when I was that age, I used to dye my hair wherever Lindsay Lohan dyed her hair because she's a ginger <laughs> and freckly and so am I. And so I was like, well, whatever looks good on our Lindsay will look good on me. Oh, what a hero. Yeah. Legally Blonde too, also great. I haven't seen two. I haven't seen it's good. two. No, it's not good. It's good. It's good enough. They, but they, that I, watched of, a, I watched them back yeah, to back. That, no, that's that's a, a film, early noughties. Like cheesy Coyote films. Ugly. Yeah. Oh, that is one that. of my favourite films ever. Is it? I, I'm not even messing. <gasps> Do you know what I hate? I genuinely hate this. Coyote Ugly, the bar in the film, right, is about like this underground, cool as fuck bar where it's like, we're our own thing, we do it our own way. And then it's being franchised and it, it's like Coyote Ugly's yeah, yeah, everywhere yeah. now. And it's dead like, like shiny and shit. And it's the exact opposite of what the bar in the film's like. And it fucking does my head. There's one in Liverpool, isn't there? Yeah, and it's shit. Is there one in Liverpool? There's one just up the road, but it's all like red and like shiny and like no, plasticky it's not meant to be decor. That. It looks it's meant sad. to be a fucking dive bar. Down an alleyway. Oh, Adam's been barred from all of them around the country. He just walks anything. in and goes, You're ruining the memory of a very good film. <laughs> and then he walks out. I got Bar. fired from Leanne a bar Rimes. job after three oh. hours. What? All the songs are rhymes, aren't they? Cap at the moonlight. Yeah. Yeah. You got what? I got fired off a job working in a bath after three hours because I just live. I, li- I used to. I think I still do live my life through like my favorite films and like Charmed and shit. And um, 
when I started working the band, I just gave everyone free shots a la Coyote Ugly. <laughs> Hell no, H2O. And then three hours later, the man was like, are you charging for those shots? And I was like, no, I'm doing good customer service. <laughs> and, and they were like, mm, you need to charge them for that. And I was like, you've not seen Coyote Ugly. This is very bad business. And Someone else has seen Coyote Ugly. Am I right, guys? Yeah. Ah, Everyone, the manager. <laughs> it was not. There's a woman choking. She needs a glass of water. <laughs> Hell no. H2O. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great. Honest. So, yeah, I got fired because of Coyote Ugly. And then also, I think it was a bit because that happened. And then someone was sick on the dance floor. They were like, you need to go and clean that. And I was like, <laughs> that won't work. <laughs> that won't work for me. Did you refuse? You've yeah, been there I, I was like, I'm not. That won't work. Three yeah, hours? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> three I'm hours? Not... Three hours and you were like, I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. I respect you. No, he was like, well, you're like the newest person. You've got to start from the bottom. But I was like, no, no, this isn't a career. This yeah. is. I'm not working my way this up. This is to pay for my night out tomorrow. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Was that in Manchester? No, that was in the south of France. Oh, darling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really. Where I, was don't your even, first I didn't job? even realize I'd been fired at first. We were deciphering it because we were. How in... you say clean up the sink <laughs> and then fucking get out of my bar? It was so difficult. <laughs> What Where are you, are you doing in the south of France, Stephen? I have a degree in French. Shut I'm up. smart as shit, Do you, Can I rim you now? You can, can I rim you, you now? You can, in yes, French. With a French tongue. Fucking three, B.O. Where in the south of France? Perpignan. Oh, we never went there. We never went to Perpignan. <laughs> Did you? We thought about it, yeah. We, we tried. We actually <laughs> built an entire Patreon special around going to Perpignan. <laughs> are you joking? But Dan oh, got oh. so drunk uh, at Barcelona Airport that we never made it. We went to Barcelona instead. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my. No one wanted to go. It's so close we to Barcelona. Go, we yeah. wanted to go and watch the rugby league and then we got pissed in the car park. Oh, yeah, park that and makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the truth. Catalan Dragons playing Perpignan. Yeah, yeah, I met the Catalan Dragons on the flight over and I had no interest or any idea. I was just like, these, they're fit. And then my friend was like, that's the Catalan Dragons. And I was like, oh my Ooh. God. Like, I didn't know what it was, but we did go and watch a match afterwards at their invite. And um, I had a ham and cheese baguette and a pint like a proper lad. <laughs> I always have ham and cheese baguette at the match, me. Isn't that yeah. what you have at There's nothing more, at laddie, match. at the match. Yeah. Ham and cheese baguette. And a, and a pine. Oh, mate. In a beaker. Oh, nice. Just That's like good. you look. Yeah, yeah, no? yeah, yeah. Can't move ham and cheese baguettes on the cop, isn't it? It's a nightmare. <laughs> What's the cop? It's just a it's big a stand. stand in Liverpool. It's what? Yeah. It's, it's the, the main stand at Liverpool's ground. Oh. So uh, what were you doing in Perpignan? I had to live there for a year as part of my course. Oh, like a little... At uni, yeah. yeah. And all my friends, right? So we all had like a little tryst while we we're away. My friend Kate is now married to a guy and lives in Nice. Gorgeous life. His name's Florent. Oh. His um, name's what? Florent. Florent? Florent. Florent. Cinema. 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 Yeah. 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 Florent. My friend Sam got with a guy for a semester called Nicola. Oh. Right. Got like Nicholas. Yeah. And I got with Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It wasn't even Kevin. No, no, it wasn't Kevin. No, it wasn't. It Kevin? was. It should be Kevin. Kevin. If he's French. Oh, really? But he was from fucking Stockport. <laughs> I was seething. Aren't you I was from fucking Stockport? seething. Aren't you from Stockport? Yes, oh I'm from God. Stockport. I was fucking fuming because I was like, this isn't my getaway. We're going to be here and we're going to go back together. Fuck that. Now Why didn't straight. you just not go near him like, when you found out where he was from? I didn't know at first because he was he was hot and he was putting on an American accent. I never got to the bottom of that. <laughs> and I never got to the bottom of that. And French people learn their English through watching like Friends and stuff. So a lot of French people when they're speaking English sound American. And so there was just nothing questionable about it. So I was like, Bleh. and it was only like a few days later when actually he stopped me to Barcelona because I'd gone for a weekend away with the girls. And then it was revealed that he was in Stockport and I was seething that he'd followed us to Barcelona because that meant I felt like I couldn't get with anyone else. And then he's from fucking Stockport and all my hopes and dreams have been dashed. I thought I was going to move to like frigging, you know, like, what is it called? Like um, Minnesota. Do you know somewhere like that? I thought I was oh, going right. somewhere like that. I've, heard, I've got a bit of a story about someone putting on an American accent for a, 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 a stretched period of time. I don't think I've told you that. Well, so I now. worked in a bar called Igloo for a bit. Uh, oh, I know this story. Where we were told it ages ago. It's now Ink. Ages ago. Um, when I worked there, the, the bar manager was American. And he was, uh, the reason he was like running bars in the UK and like on a high wage was because he used to be the 
general manager of the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. <gasps> so he's teaching us all cocktails, how to run a bar, how to do it perfectly. It turned out he was embezzling loads of money from the company and he was actually from the Isle of Man. <laughs> and he'd never even been to America. Good other <gasps> accents though. Yeah, yeah, was it convincing? I thought he was American. Yeah, in the Isle of Man, they learn English by watching Geordie's Friends. Good. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. You're an it's idiot. racist against <laughs> other people from around the world. I don't know whether, like, the only accent I know whether it's good or not is a, a Liverpool one. Because I think my Geordie's brilliant. I think my Birmingham's brilliant. Dan's Do Geordie. Dan's going to go Geordie. How are you, Stephen? I'm fun. Adam Rowley. I'm going to poo, man. Nailed it. Is that? Dan's got a very good Geordie because he yeah. lived there, didn't he? I don't think this is any better than mine. Go on. What? Do you judge Doesn't sound any different? Uh, you know, because do, you... do you want a sentence? It's no, pressure. no, <laughs> no. It's not. It's because Stephen's camp. I want to do camp, Jordy. No, like, I'm if... not camp. I'm butch. Stop it with your fucking what? ham and cheese sandwich. What are you even talking about, <laughs> Stephen? Absolute shite. <gasps> That's great. Um, I'd get catfish by you. Me, yeah. My name's Kevin as well. Do you want to hear my Cheryl Cole? As well. I'd love to hear you, Cheryl Cole. Ooh. Ooh, thank you very much. Is that good? No. No? Absolutely. Just question. Where do you think it. Cheryl Cole's from? <laughs> but I know she's from New Azzles and Shields. Oh my God, you oh. two no. doing Geordie accents. Are we going to get... I'm, I'm not that bad, do you have a lot of Geordie followers? Because that's going to stress me out. Oh yeah, man, we did fucking well. Newcastle Time Theatre on Opera this night. And fucking thousands of them there. <laughs> <laughs> did you do that there? Did you do that? I, I did. did actually, yeah. Okay, oh, fine. Home awesome. and away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, was, that was a really good bit as well. I, uh, I I said, I made us come on to the theme tune of Home and Hawaii. Oh, it sounds a bit like Hawaii, doesn't it? Dan didn't get it. Dan didn't get it at all. That, I, Still doesn't get it. Away. <laughs> that is funny. Like Honestly, away. I know they keep explaining it, <laughs> but I, you're really going to, I'm going to struggle to get this. <laughs> Closer each day. day. Home and away. 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 Home and away. Home and away. Away. the lads are two army. Yeah, yeah, that's what Jordy's saying. <laughs> but home and away is Australian. <laughs> it's weird. I'm not, I'll never get it. I think it. you're being too literal with this. Do you think so? Yeah. No, I don't know. Home and away, man. <laughs> you like this at home? No. Slow. No. Oh my no. God. How weird the two army stinks. <laughs> Is that from Home and Away? Yeah. Oh, right. I couldn't think of it. <laughs> I was rattling my brain. I couldn't think of it. Johnny Bond, Is Dan livid because he doesn't get it? Yeah. <laughs> Who's your favourite Newcastle player? I'll never get it. Uh, the one that owned the cafe. Johnny Van der Gaz. Yeah. Who owned the cafe? What? In Home and Away? Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Toadfish. Are we trying to confuse, what Stephen? Is... I'm confused as well. <laughs> I am so confused. Also, do you know about... Football that is not the team you support. Yeah. We know yeah. everything about all A the stupid football. amount of uh, my brain space is taken up by random football N facts. Nonsense. Well, who do you support? Liverpool. And who plays for them? <laughs> Go on, you want the who whole squad. <laughs> or just like, who's like the most famous one? Is Steven Gerrard one of yours? Yeah. Yeah, he's retired now though. Oh. Mo Salah's probably the most famous at the minute. I only know footballers depending if they're married to someone that's fantastic so who do you know well i know david beckham because of victoria ashley cole you knew david beckham before victoria no surely. i knew victoria first no yeah, but, audience but i had a spice girls ring he was okay. also big um who david beckham was big at the time it was a power really? couple like, yeah i don't remember that peter crouch because of uh, abby clancy what abby clancy abby clancy partner. thank you no i wouldn't have got that what about one. rebecca vardy's husband well i know that because of all that sh i don't know who rebecca vardy's husband is but i know all that sh shit that was in the press jamie jamie vardy. i thought they should have made that an itvb documentary they made it i thought they, they made it they, a play they made it a musical, they made it a, they musical, made it a musical. i was yeah. invited to the press night and couldn't go actually fucking livid who else is there cheryl cole you know ashley cheryl cole. cole so that's how i learned about ashley cole he's a rat yeah. he's an absolute rat but she doesn't want to go back to tweedy so she's kept Cole. No, no she she's hasn't. Cheryl she's Fernandez. Just Cheryl. She's, she's just Cheryl. She's, she's just, just Cheryl. She divorced just Cheryl. That guy. Oh, I just still call her Cheryl Cole. She's just Cheryl. She's just she's Cheryl, Cheryl, yeah. She's not, is she? She's Cheryl. She's like she Cher? thinks she is. She's like, like Cheryl. Cheryl Ronaldo. Ronaldo. She's, she's Cheryl. <laughs> <laughs> she's Cheryl. And do you know she was in a play called 222. Yeah, the ghost uh, that she was so bad in it. I saw the trailer. It was pathetic. She was not stand down. <laughs> stand down. We'll show them the trailer in the break. Okay. Yeah. It's, well, let's do it now. Right, because <laughs> she was very good in it and the, the theatre, 
had ran out of white wine on the first night. And um, someone was like, oh my God, there's, there's a TikTok somewhere where the guy that works there was like, well, of course we've run out of white wine. The community's in tonight to support Cheryl. So the gays had gone down. Oh, Is gay. she a gay icon? She's a gay icon. Is she? Yeah. Is she a... Yeah. Girls allowed, isn't it? Girls allowed. Yeah. They we died. sick as well. They were sick. Girls allowed. What about Nadine? Oh, so underrated. Yeah, we love Nadine. Nadine's so funny. Uh, is she one of the mad voice? I like to use flour yeah. and yeah. shit. Flour. Wasn't Sarah Harden a patron? She's just from the... Yeah, well, we, we thought that's possible, yeah. We had a patron called Sarah Harding about six but like, months before so she passed. But like, so we got a patron called Sarah Harden, and we got to be a bit, because uh, she has died now, hasn't she? Yeah, yeah. So it wasn't long before that, right? And it was, she signed up. I've searched my followers, the podcast followers, and Dan's, and there's no one called Sarah Harden. But we had a patron called Sarah Harden. So it made sense to me that that could be, because this podcast is a bit naughty at times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like she's going to be tweeting, oh, I love this new podcast. But there's no other follower we've got with maybe that name. She, um, maybe you're her guilty pleasure. Maybe. Yeah. A simple pleasure. You could say. <laughs> who is, who, who's the person that you would get most like, who's the celebrity that would get you like, cause you, you, you're doing well. You've been on TV. You must've been to some swanky parties, but who's a celebrity that would get you like, oh my God, I'm fangirling. Beverly Callard. <laughs> what? Fuck off. Liz McDonald. Yeah. Are you She's joking? in two pints as well. Really? Do you know Beverly Callard? Donna's mum. Donna's mum, yeah. Yeah. The thinking man's strumpet. For, she was in Corrie as... Liz, Liz McDonald. Liz McDonald. Liz McDonald, yeah. I think you could ring her and ask her if she wants to meet up for a coffee. <laughs> Do you think? I honestly don't. I was no, expecting no, it to no, be Beyonce no, no, or something. No, and you're no, like... No, 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 She's no. so accessible. But when know. I met Cheryl, I did meet Cheryl. That was... I was not like my A game. I basically shit I want to get myself. a partner play. Um, Do you know anyone hiring? Well, there's somebody who's like, I've watched Stephen Bailey's special and I loved it. They've tweeted it. Who are you like? Holy shit. Not Beverly Callard. The Rock. <laughs> Do you know who did share an Instagram post and I nearly shit myself? Melissa McCarthy. That's a good one. Do you know from Bridesmaids? She's fucking oh, great. Oh, She's that, amazing. I nearly cool. died that day. That's quite cool. She said I was her spirit animal. Take who, a moment. Who would your one of those be? That is cool. Oh, I'd absolutely. Who would your one of those be? Who do you want to see yours? <sighs> who? I always Someone think... tweets, the, oh my God, this special is the funniest thing I've ever seen. Quote tweeting your poster. <laughs> <laughs> I would have loved it to have been Paulo Grady. Well, that would have been good. That would have been amazing for Simba me. from Brookie retweeted mine <gasps> a few years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally about, I was about to say Dave Chappelle. It's like Sinbad from Brookie, so <laughs> just as good as Chappelle, really. Do you think they'd ever bring Brookie back? Uh, I don't know. I'd love them to, though, and it's got to be the same fella playing Jimmy Corkill because <laughs> his is, is, uh, comic timing is excellent. You found you got to keep the James at bay. <laughs> have, you not, have you seen that Jimmy Corkill video? No. The, code, oh, the we'll, progression we'll, we'll of COVID? We'll watch it in the air break. It's fantastic. Brookie was fire. It was so good. Yeah. Claire Sween is frigging amazing as well, isn't Claire she? Sweet. Changing what? rooms. Yeah. Oh, Carol, she did do changing that's rooms. Carol Smiley. No, she, she took over for Claire a bit. Claire Sweeney took Carol over from Smiley. Carol Smiley and did changing smiley, rooms. Smiley, smiley, Carol Smiley. Your fucking A-list is a weird A-list. You, well. <laughs> you didn't say A-list. You just said, who would you, you like? Yeah. Like people that live within 10 miles. <laughs> who do you think would be the weirdest one that it's possible would quote tweet you special? Joe, Prin Prince Andrew. Joe Biden. Yeah, no, I don't strange. think they're possible, though, are they? From the account. Possibly. Like, Prince yeah, Andrew's so. not going to do it, and he wouldn't be allowed to tweet it. Joe Biden definitely can't. Like, Dido would be mad, wouldn't he? If Dido was like, fucking hell, love the special, Adam. <laughs> Dido? Yeah. <laughs> My life is forever. What a mad one. Yeah, if Shakira quote tweeted one of our clips, that I'd have that as weird. I'd have that as weird. J-Lo. J-Lo. Yeah. Oh, she's no sense Or Dave humor. Benson Phillips. Dave I mean, Benson Phillips? That's... I'm surprised that's not happened. He's a, <laughs> <laughs> he is a fan. Who are you, Dave? We know you're watching. <laughs> Should we have a break? Let's have a break and show uh, Steve in this Jimmy Corkill video because it's exceptional. I love it. I can't. Oh, man, how are you? <laughs> How are we, lids? It's time to tell you about my absolute favourite sponsor that we have on this podcast. It's lovehoney.co.uk. And you know if you use the promo code WEIRD20, you're going to get 20% off site-wide. And they're my favourite sponsor. Why? Because I love to come. And I know you do too. Especially if you're a woman. Dan? Oh, yeah. I mean, cleaning yourself's fine. You know, masturbating with the shower head. That's all right. What if you had a shower head that was specifically for making you jizz, ladies? Okay? This is the womanizer wave. 
Not only does it have a powder rain setting so that you can use it and actually get a shower, there's also the Pleasure Whale setting, which will like tease you, get you warmed up, and then you're going to go onto the Pleasure Jet. And then I'm telling you right now, you'll be squirting over the shower a lot more than the shower that is, okay? You can change the intensity of it. It's got an ergonomic shape. It's an easy switch. It's a universal fit. It's dead easy to install, isn't it? Yeah, and it's sustainable. How long have you been selling these? It's like you've come from generation after generation. I just do my research when it comes to making women's squares. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're so powerful, you can do your patio afterwards. <laughs> Wolf. Uses 60% less water than a standard shower head as well. How good's that? Oh, come See, on. Looking after the planet. Literally looking after the planet. Sold. Oh, my God. Imagine if every orgasm could plant a tree. <laughs> this is nearly there. <laughs> Lovefunny.co.uk. Use the promo code WEIRD20. 20% 20 off site-wide. Go on. Treat yourself. It's Pride Month. Lesbians are squirting. And you, you might be one. But if you're not, you can squirt as well. Good Lord. Hey, everyone. Now it's time to tell you about my absolute favourite sponsor. It's BetterHelp. Why are they your favourite sponsor, then? Because I think everyone should be working on their mental health. And I've started therapy recently. Now, look. I've decided that in-person works best for me. I'm going to an in-person, in-office therapist. But some people, they don't like doing that. Some people just want to do it from home, don't they? And that's where BetterHelp can help. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try because it's entirely online, designed to be convenient, it's flexible, it's suited to your schedule, isn't it? That's what you're going to say. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. I was seeing a therapist. If you fill I... out just a brief questionnaire, you get matched with a licensed therapist. You can switch at any time, no additional charge. But like... Therapy's got like specialties to it, do you know what I mean? Some people need help from one type of person. Some people need it from another type of person. You get matched with someone who matches your needs, do you know what I mean? And it's really Find important more if you... balance with BetterHelp, you know what I mean? Go to betterhelp.com slash word 10 and get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, betterhelp.com slash word 10, isn't it? That's, a, that's what you want to say. It's just so crucial for me because sometimes I feel like no one's listening to me. I know what you mean. That's how I feel on this podcast all the fucking time. Uh, I'll work on that with better help. Not oh, mm, let me drink some of this lovely sneak. If you're a 42-year-old podcaster that did a live show in Newcastle and slept in a service station with a 24-year-old shop, um, and you need energy, mm, sneak. How old do you think he was? I thought he was old. <laughs> so she's older. Yeah. Gives off that vibe. Is that because you look up to me? Yes, exactly. Yeah, that. thanks, Stephen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. flavor is that, Dom? Oh, this is mm, this one. You do? And it's lovely. For audio listeners, it's the Japanese orange one. Mmm. Yuzu Mandarin. Are we doing this thing? Are we on? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We on? That was an advert. <laughs> What's happening? That was a Shadow Cole esque advert. <laughs> yeah. mm. Was that a real advert? No, but we. Ghost, man! He's gonna kill us. Do you believe me? <laughs> Excuse me, it's fantastic, and I won't hear otherwise. We just okay? watched the clip Have of you Cheryl got like Cole. five number one oh singles in the UK? No. Yeah, that's, she's a good singer. Yeah, oh, she's right. even a good she's singer. Not, yeah. She's a she's, she's good a performer. Successful singer. She's an excellent entertainer. You're right, yeah. Finn. Yeah. She's not a Call good my name, banger. Oh. And three fight three for words. This love. Fight, fight for this love. love with Will. I am. Yeah. Call my name was better when Charlotte Church did their version of that. It's not the same song, but it's a. Uh, <laughs> She's shit at sneak adverts, though. So. Hello, it's Cheryl. I get tired changing my name so much. <laughs> Don't you believe me? Don't you believe I'm me? I'm always down at <laughs> You lot are awful. Changing my name. Oh, that's so refreshing, like. And it's <laughs> one of the Japanesey, like, orangey ones. Oh, it's like foreign clementines. Oh, I've got loads of energy. New husband. Yeah. As long as it's not Nigerian. Yeah. No. Yeah, that'd be, uh, I think your Good Geordie point, accent huh? is better when you're doing me as a Geordie. That wasn't you as a Geordie. It was no, just but Camp Geordie. <laughs> Camp Geordie, yeah, yeah. I'm a bit of a, uh, a social chameleon, so if you come and camp it up, I can't, I can't help it. it. Brings out the camp. I can't help it. You if are always if camp Cheryl, around me. If Cheryl was on, I'd be wooden as fuck. Do you know what I mean? Stop it. Oh, She'd be a good she guest. is not oh, wooden. Oh, Cheryl, that's a great answer. Let us ask you another question. Guys, you're going to lose so many patrons now because I know you're so listening. So I went in for me audition like, and I was singing fans. along and then Simon Cowell was like, here's loads of money to sing. And I was like, fucking lovely, man. I can buy me mama boat. And then he came <laughs> in and he was like, Cheryl, you've put weight on. I was like, fuck you, calling me a fat twat. Ah, so I lost all the weight, and then I I gave an Oscar worthy performance in the in the program Two Twenty Two Man. <laughs> Your accent's got better since we watched that, though. Uh, uh, 
Because I'm not just doing generic Geordie now, I'm doing specifically yeah. Cheryl Cole. Very good, How I'm Cheryl Cole. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not believe me, like? How are you? Home and how I'm Cheryl Cole. Oh, we get to? <laughs> it's a great joke. Really good joke. I can't believe I didn't get it for so long, but it's a great joke. Fuck me. You guys and words. Oh. oh. Finn, have you got any Should questions? we do some advice? Oh, yeah. yeah. Are you good, good at giving people advice, Stephen? People, right, yeah, I love telling people they what They ask to us do. for advice because we're, you know, we've got our lives together and people need to sort those out. So. Perfect. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm 58, that. so obviously I've had a life experience. You've got a life to tell. Are you good? Do you like giving advice? If, if someone comes to you, like Cheryl comes to me and goes, give us some acting tips, please. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Well, with Cheryl, I'd say, keep doing what you're doing. Everything you do is perfect. Like, Thank um, you so much. I'm really good at giving advice. Shit at taking it. Right. That's everyone, though, isn't it? Don't you think? I haven't taken it for years. She's bad at picking men, though. <laughs> she is bad at picking men. <laughs> she is? Did, what did you say? I've been taking it for years. <laughs> no, he said, you, because before you said you haven't had sex since 2020, he said you haven't taken it for years. <laughs> <laughs> That's Stop. fair. We just like wait for the jingle then. Do we have a jingle? Oh, yeah. yeah. We have yeah you, you won't hear it because you've got no oh. phones on. Neither, neither we'll we'll sing it for you. <laughs> oh, love Carl yeah, so much. Adam, I'm, I'm here to help. Oh, here Agony to help. Cheryl. I'm, I'm here, here to help. Problems. I'll tell you the best thing to do. If you want to do it, you'll be fine. If you don't, you might do time. I think in honour. In honour of our esteemed guest and his love for Cheryl Cole. <gasps> we'll rename this section for this week to What Would Cheryl Do? What would like Cheryl it? do? Beep what would Cheryl do? <laughs> I'd give really good advice. Beep boop. Whoop. Dan, I'm going to come over there. It's unacceptable. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh promises, promises. Shane, what's the question? <laughs> this is from Antonia Rooney. Need some advice on how to get to go to the pub with male co-workers. Started a new job nearly 12 months ago and knew the two male managers for a few years due to a previous work. Uh, always got on with them, had great banter and never had any issues. I've not, I've not been managed by a male in over 20 years, so knew that it could be a bit different, especially as these two have filthy minds and concentrate more on scoring the office talent than actually doing some work. I've noticed more that they tend to go for a pint after work. As I'm part of the management team, I would have thought the offer would be there, but it's not. No. Um, they've made, uh, she's made comments like, I've got balls in my feet, you know. I don't understand that. And don't females the balls go to- of your feet. Oh, yeah. Good. She's like, I have got balls, they're just in my feet. Okay, and don't females go to the pub where you go. Off. Now, I know I could be uh, a typical girl being sensitive, just feels a bit shitty when I know that they're going and not asking me. Am I being a tit or are they being misogynistic? Um, lads just want to sit and talk lad shit. That's just the way it is. Like, it, it's it's a, it's a interesting on this because if it's a work thing, she's got every right to be like, why aren't I invited? But at the end of the day, they're probably just they've probably become mates and they want to go to the pub with their mates who they happen to work with. Yeah. I bet if she just went, no one would give a shit. They'd be like, come on, what yeah, are you yeah. drinking? It's like Rachel and friends when she starts smoking because she's missing out on all the things. Yeah. They just want to smoke. I've met Antonia Rooney and she is an old, like she's like OG patron, isn't she? <laughs> she's she one is of our old. oldest. <laughs> she's one of our old, like, yeah, she a, seems like. She's sound as fuck. She's not a wallflower. No. I, I'm surprised that she's like, oh God. They're not inviting me. I, she's got balls in her feet, man. Also, I never understand why people want to go for drinks with people work. I've just spent all day with them. Now I want to like, just go home and be with people I like. Yeah. Or holidays. You know, yeah. If it's not eight days in Tenerife <laughs> with your workmates, I'm just not interested. I know, but you guys have done that thing where you've morphed into like family. Yeah, there's like Vin You know, Diesel. Dan, you know? <laughs> yeah. Right, Dan? Yeah, we do. We spend yeah. some Christmases together. Yeah. Oh my God. So yeah. I think it's different. This isn't a proper job. I think when people have proper jobs. Excuse like, me. Well, it's not, is it? We all go around telling our little it's an international. Jokes. It's an like, international business, Stephen. Black leather club. <laughs> yeah. It is? We're in Dublin, July 6th. <laughs> we've just got back, we've just filmed the TV series in the United States of America, Daniel. We're international. Amsterdam, America, England, Spain. Four countries in the first six all months right. of the year. Get your you. fucking knickers untwisted. I think, <laughs> I think... I think just go out with your actual mates. Who gives yeah. a shit about these two? Maybe they don't like you, and that's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a harsh reality <laughs> there, isn't it? No, but not everyone has to like you. It's fine. I don't like her. <laughs> yeah. I hate when I'm people don't list. like me, though. See if they want me to go. No, I love being liked, but like, if I'd be like, okay, cool, you don't want to go to the pool with me? I'll, I do like I'll, you. I'll just go with someone else. 
Shut yeah. up. Just say then, Dan, keep going to Nando's and not inviting us. We're not all whinging about it. Why'd you no. keep going? No, you've never, you never mentioned it. You never mentioned it. Basically, because I'm a vegetarian and he's a. Why he's are you going really to Nando's for veggie? Because they exactly. do a good veggie wrap. All right. So we just even though by going to Nando's, he is perpetuating the idea that murder and chickens is okay. <laughs> yeah, he's paying for the Shit chicken. Shit vegetarian, aren't it? Yeah, yeah. That without is, without yeah. chicken, Nando's doesn't become a vegan restaurant. It becomes non-existent because they rely on chicken. So you're making it okay for people to kill chickens <laughs> every day by going to Nando's. You're paying for the If chicken. you're a vegetarian, you should be protesting Nando's and going to a vegan, vegetarian-only place. If it. I ever go to court, I'm hiring you. That was freaking genius. If you ever go to court, he'd forget and not turn up. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, okay. He'd that be would, on the golf course. That would be the problem. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Just tell him you didn't do it. So, Dan, why don't you drive. invite the rest of your team? Why is Finn so special? Because oh, the gobshites have had enough of them. You know what I mean? Ew. Yeah. You know, you know when you know you said about family I agree Yeah. but sometimes you've had enough of your family do you know mate by the time you get to Boxing Day afternoon you're like I'm going to the pub do you know, do you know what it is Stephen right because me and Carl have been best mates in school and Carl's become uh, really good mates with Stephen from working together and we're all scouts do you know what it is Dan is trying to forge he needs an like ally a, yeah he, he's like he's trying to get the same thing it's really embarrassing and I feel him. sad Finn, how do you feel about this? Do you feel like you're being abused by Dan in some way where it's like you have to go because he's your boss and if you say no, like that's... I feel like in 20 years, I'm going to look back on this and go, what the fuck was I doing? Well, I, I, was, I was being full, like, full on Schofield and I didn't <gasps> know it. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know we were going you've there. Went, you've worked on TV. Did yeah. Philip Schofield ever... Did you ever, did you ever do anything? He's too old. I, uh, <laughs> No, I don't mean with Steven, but did you see him like shag a kid? <laughs> no, he's, I never, no. Oh my God. No, I never met him. <laughs> I never met him. Uh, Steven has got him. a career. He <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> Steven likes TV. Oh. <laughs> Just say no, we'll move on. Hello, are you okay? Um, <laughs> I think I, we're all feeling the same. A bit, yeah. Did anyone watch the Holly Willoughby yeah. thing? No, was that, that, that was some old less wooden than Shuttle. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Do you mean me or Holly? Holly. Okay, fine. I hope you're me. all right. Obviously, Philip was shagging on the local children and we don't like it. <laughs> so I hope you're okay. Oh my God. All of them are the local children. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the local children. Hello, my name Holly Willoughby. <laughs> oh my God. And you were shagging all them local children. To be fair, you know, it reduced the carbon footprint. <laughs> He was doing his thing for the environment. At least he wasn't flying them in to fuck him. Do you know what I'm saying? Are you okay, Steve? I've watched I'm, that. I'm not <laughs> Gosh, I've watched that. I've watched that. Been not the most viewed video of Hello, all time. are you okay? I'm okay. This is weird. Fuck off. <laughs> she should have just been honest and went, that was mad, wasn't it? Do you want to move on? She should have done it in the Jamaican accent. That'd have been well better. <laughs> Imagine if that's how she's after. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to this morning. First day back. Anyway, that Philip stuff was mad, wasn't it? Anyway, Alison, how are you, girl? I would have respected that so much more than the, the contrived shit she had to say. I thought the whole thing was getting cancelled. Has that been, have they backtracked on They're that? not cancelled. Yeah, okay. It's too big, isn't it? They might rebrand it. I could see a rebrand in the future. I think it'll just They're going to call it day. tomorrow morning and try and guess the next day's headlines. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what a sketch. <laughs> oh no, nuclear Armageddon. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody saw it coming. We did on tomorrow morning. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I'm having a great time, Stephen. I don't want to be on this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, this is Holly Willoughby. I just want to say, Stephen Bailey had nothing to do with this. Welcome to tomorrow morning, man. <laughs> Steve, Steve. I can't. By the way, Willoughby is the best name saying that for it. Uh, just to make it clear, everyone that works at ITV, Stephen did not enjoy the last few minutes and does not agree with any of our silliness. And so don't book us for this morning. Hello, but whatever. Book Stephen. <laughs> I'm surprised you two haven't been on this morning, though. Seriously. I well, mean, you'd have to rein it in a lot, but yeah. I think you'd be very good. Freddie, yeah. Freddie Quinn's taking up all the bookings, just arguing with lunatics. And the seats. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know why. I mean, you got it. Freddie's fat. Oh, he lose like, friend. Man, you filled the whole couch. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> 
<laughs> Should we do some more? Thank advice? you. I tell you what though, Antonia Rooney, great question. <laughs> and I, I hope you got your answer. My life. Oh fuck you know. <laughs> this one's from Caitlin. Uh, please, <laughs> please keep my surname and on. I'm not sure if this is more relationship relationship advice or I have a word, but I need. What's her name? Caitlin. Caitlin. What's she wants to say? Her name anonymous. Yeah. Just give her one. Jenna. Gareth. <laughs> Caitlin Gareth. Caitlin Garrett. So I need you out with Or G something. <laughs> <laughs> Jake Anonymous or Caitlin Garrett. <laughs> my boyfriend of just under two years came home yesterday with a tattoo for my birthday of my name. This has weirded me out anyway, but what's worse is he spelt it Caitlin with a Y instead of my Irish spelling. <laughs> is this too big what? of a red Spelt flag a name, to Rome. get over or am I being dramatic and it just shows that he blatantly loves me? Please I'm help. telling you right now what's happened here. 100%. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> he has been with another Caitlin in the oh. past and he has 100% had that tattoo for years. He's denied, isn't it like this? <laughs> he's had that for years and he's then found another Caitlin but forgot to ask you if it's the same spelling when he's first met you. And now he's gone, oh, I've got a tattoo. And she's like, that's not how I spell it. It's oh, you dickhead. think he's always had the tattoo? Yeah, he's been shagging Caitlin since day dot, Stephen. <laughs> Don't you think people are just thick, though? Because I, I'll be like in an email, thanks, Stephen, and spell it with a PH. But then people will respond and be like, hi, Stephen, with a V. I think people are just thick as shit. So you have to decide, do you want to be with someone that's a fucking moron? Yeah. yeah. Or not? Stephen, the email thing is, you're right, it's wrong. But it's forgivable. No, it's not. If you make that mistake or via tattoo. tattoo, I mean, that is next level dum dum, isn't it? There's a red flag for the name. Although I kind of like it. No, don't I'd get tattooed. I'd love names. to get, you know, like thug life on my chest. Just Laura life. Just there. Class. That shows I love her. Do any of you like have someone's name on you? Nope. Yeah, dead pigs. I've got my own. Oh, no. I'm drunk. Uh, you know? He's got the name of a dead pig on his ass. What's well, the pig called? Runty. Do you have Runty on you? I yeah. tried to do it. Where is it? I tried on my bottom. Can we see it now? I tried to do a mercy kill. No, I tried to do a mercy killing on. when I worked on a farm, and, and I just into a big I poop. just mushed a, a mushed a piglet <laughs> into a load of manure. Are you he joking? He drowned the pig with shit. And as no. and as a punishment, I've now got a tattoo saying "R.I.P. Runty" on one of my butt cheeks. My Fuck. best mate had an, had uh, a girl's name tattooed, and then they broke up about four months later. So he's had to have that covered up because he's now in another relationship. I think it's so stupid. Oh, don't do the name. No. Silly. N names are mad. Have you got any tattoos, Stephen? No. I got an, I had an allergic reaction to a henna tattoo. So I'm certain that i did. I had a Chinese symbol on me. I was like Tora Malinos when I was a kid. And I got a Chinese symbol for Lucky. And it was not because I had that scar for a year. <laughs> I thought that's some yeah. strong henna. Yeah, it was really strong. Couldn't get my hair dyed for ages. Wow. Because wow. if you're allergic to henna, you're allergic to hair dye or something. So I had to wait, you know, until the... Medical advances. Uh, yeah, medical advances. Well, you dye your hair now, don't you? Yeah, dye it now. So you can get a tattoo now. Cheryl. No. I couldn't get a henna one. I'm allergic right. to it. What would you get if, you had, if, if someone went, right, I'm going to give you a tattoo the size of a two pound piece. What would you get? A two, okay, pound, a two piece. pound piece. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Use all the space. Yeah. Would you look at like a name or like a... What do you, what do you well, love? Whose name would I have? What's your love? What's your passion? I'm nothing. You don't love anything? <laughs> no, I find everyone really annoying. No, not people. At the <laughs> not like a passion, like what you love. Comedy? Something like a No, mic. comedy's annoying. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not so passionate right about anything. I'm just ready to clock off me. I always say to people, I said to people during the second lockdown, like, not anything to worry about, but if I don't wake up, I'm all right. Oh, that's really No, I'm not. It's not meant to be morbid. Oh, you, just feel you're like, just done? Are you finished? I'm all right now. You're done, yeah. What a, what, enough. I'm what a weird juxtaposition you've got going there because you find nearly everyone attractive now, all different things, yeah, but and so everyone's annoying. annoying. I don't oh, need people God. talking. People in traffic are annoying. Um, customer <laughs> service is a thing of the past. Uh, yeah, I just don't have time for anyone. <laughs> is that really miserable? But you're still on tour though, yeah? Yeah, I'm on tour. Please come. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy your company. Where do people but, get tickets for your tour, Stephen? StephenBaileyComedy.co.uk. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I just think about it all the time. I always feel like this about homophobes. You know, when they're all like shouting because you're holding hands in the street, I always think, I don't give a shit that you're basically getting wanked off by Julian or Weber Spoons. <sighs> 
I love the emphasis. <laughs> no one's ever made Weatherspoon sound so classic. Do you pronounce a weather it? spoon. A weather spoon. I like that. Yeah, like a jugger woo woo and a nice burger. That's a nice thing about getting older, isn't it? And I mean, I'm not trying to uh, speak for the the gay community, but if you get to a point where you're like, I couldn't give a shit. If you hate, yeah. If you're a homophobe, go fuck yourself. Yeah. Great. I just don't care. That is one of the better things about getting older when you're like, oh, fuck off. I think that's just, do you think, hold on, older, by the way, I'm only 35. Oh, but, no, okay. Age. But yeah, okay, you're not, I'm not saying you're old, but you're Thank older. You. Yeah. Too old Philip Schofield, but older. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is a nice thing where you're just like, I'm less asked what people think. I'm just so bored of everyone. I think it's the pandemic. I really enjoyed being on my own. That's a very common thing, isn't it? People missing the, um, missing the lockdowns. Isn't that weird? Yeah. People miss being locked down. They're all like, freaks. I just focused on myself. Fuck everyone else. We've got that thing. We've got that thing. Stockholm syndrome. Stockholm syndrome, yeah. Right. People who didn't like people's, like, yeah, got, got to be at home, do whatever they wanted, and now I've got to go out again. I don't You've want fallen it. in love with Boris Johnson, your captor. <laughs> Not with that. No, no, no. Um, do you think there is an attractive politician? I could see myself being a first lady. I, I've said this before. Is there? They don't have to be attractive for me to be attracted to them because I'm attracted to power. Ooh. Like Liz Truss, get it. No. She didn't have much power though, did she? Are they no, she really <laughs> no. didn't for very long. No. Yes, now that you've said that, see, I don't find her attractive anymore. Yes. I was thinking of it as powerful and it's, the second you've said that, it's reasoned with me. Yeah. Not into it anymore. Kamala Harris? Mm. No. Condoleezza Rice? Pretty Patel though. I'd oh, pretty air Patel if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh my God. Hang on, I don't get it. She's evil. Uh, it's not a how way. That's a knee, isn't it? What? What, what she's what in home and away? Knee? Yeah, pretty Patel. Patel's in home and away. What's the next question? We've got to have a word. That's what she, that's what she does. She stands at the border saying that to people trying to get in. Home and away. Home and away. Go home and away. Go home and away. How way? Home and away. <laughs> Stephen's face has been classed through this. <laughs> It's what we do. Yeah. Oh, I mean. Friends, this is gonna be the whole podcast. What are you saying? The, the, the jingle in my ears. Oh, the jingle. We don't give you that. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> You'll have to watch the episode to hear it. You're gonna love it. Uh, this is from Matthew Evans. <laughs> Lids, I have a word inspired by my recent travels with work. Please, could you have a word with all the middle-aged gammon sex offenders who wear jeans on a long-haul flight? <laughs> oh, I don't know who they are trying to impress. Oh, this is going to be in Nashville as well. It's going to be it... in the Nashville special. Dan, yeah. got an eight and a half hour flight to Nashville in jeans. <laughs> in business class? I just didn't think I it through. You know. I just didn't think it through. Pajamas, no. Pajamas. Your pajamas would be fire, but you can't get in the airport in your pajamas. No, but you wear like um, you, you can't know, like the shorts we talked about with Adam before. Oh, totally. The long, yes. Yeah, and you just whip them off when you're through security. So what happened was, Stephen? <laughs> yeah, whip them off. I didn't think about it. I didn't. I didn't think about it. I wear jeans a lot. I just didn't think about it. And when I got there, these absolute pack of fannies went <laughs> mental about it. Mental. Love. Oh my God. Sex crime. We'll fucking war criminal. It was <laughs> ridiculous. And you know what? They were right. But my God, they make a fucking noise about it. And on the, on the way back, I wore shorts and it was well better. And, and when we go to Tenerife, lads, I'm going to wear shorts. Your ass must have stunk. Oh, not in business class. I had that guy looking after me. Hello, Mr. Nightingale. Is there anything I can help with? I was like, swan party. He was like, I'll deal with that immediately. It's great. Yeah, fly you were right. Jeans. You were right. Lizard behavior. But I, I, I just, I hadn't concentrated. Can't all turn up in fucking juicy trackies. <laughs> I don't know. If you're flying anywhere over like an hour and a half in jeans, you deserve to be shot. Yeah. Yeah, it seems fair. That seems fair. You should be an investigator for terrorism because it's suspicious. Why are you getting on a plane like that? Yeah. Hour and a half, you might just be going for like a day or whatever. Might have to be traveling lights. I get that. I had a big bag. Eight hours. What, are, in what are in them jeans? I don't want to be in, uh, in jeans for eight hours at any no. point of my life. I don't think I've ever, ever seen Stephen in jeans. I'm in jeans right now. Oh, oh, are I they jeans? They were, sorry, I thought they were. Like oh, a the, chino. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. There is a jean list though. A gino? So what... What's their beef? Their people beef who wear jeans on planes. People that wear jeans on a long haul flight. On a long haul. He says, I don't know who they're trying to impress, but it's certainly not me, nor trying is it. To impress? Nor is it Janet from the check in <laughs> hey, desk. Oh, I think he's, he's coming at this Janet annoyance tweet. from the long, wrong angle. Like, look at you. You can afford denim. <laughs> Fucking show up. So you wear jeans on a plane? 
Det er dog en impressive meme. Schneid for en sådan. I love Schneid, ja. What if, though, he had a change of clothes for when he was on board? That's okay. So... Was, no, it isn't. Yeah, if you... Wearing jeans until you're on the plane and then taking your jeans off on the plane and putting your shorts on. That's no, okay. But that's more okay than just wearing the jeans. Uh, addendum. What if you're going skiing? Any, anyone? No? Ski pants? No. Right. Not, no. What do you mean? Well, it's cold when you get on the plane. Yeah. It's cold when you get off the plane. Trackies are just as warm as jeans. I, don't, I honestly You should don't always be in a trackie on a plane yes. or a short. That's it. Fact. Or a pyjama if it's one of those places where you sleep on it. Yeah. So nice. I, wore, I wore not jeans, but I wore, it's actually the trousers I have on today because I was trying to get an upgrade to business class because my Show your trousers. For, for BA. Should the the chino oh, it's a nice they're, they're chino. Yeah. Like a soft chino. Yeah. Mm. That's acceptable, is it? Or is it not? I yeah, don't, I don't know. Who they're like tracky chinos. Anything but denim that's like doesn't give you any space. You just trap. Oh god, I'm such a contrarian. And it I gets wear really denim sweaty on Sunday and then you for the flight to just stink. to annoy these pricks. That's going to be great. Oh, Do it. I want you to land in Tenerife after a four and a half flight. Jeez, <laughs> you'll die. <laughs> but the flip side of that is, I don't want anyone on a plane that's going in their cosage, you know, because they're going to get straight in the pool. That'd be sick. I'd do that over a cosage. Oh, I think that's so. What speedos on the plane? I wear speedos, yeah. <laughs> You've got to do it for Tenerife. I will. Yeah, jeans on a plane, you're a fucking lizard. Worse than snakes on a plane, I think. Yeah. Jeans on What's a plane. What's with all these motherfucking jeans, jeans on this motherfucking plane? Easier to get on the plane than snakes. <laughs> just like, you know. Imagine that film. Just FYI, if you want to smuggle something onto a plane, denim's easier. You just wear it. Snakes. Samuel Jackson being pissed off that bunch of jeans on <laughs> two hours. Fuck it out. <laughs> Podcast over. Stephen, thank you for coming in. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Great. Thanks for having <laughs> Go and me. Go see Stephen on tour. He's an absolutely brilliant comedian. You will have a great time. Starts in March of the year of our Lord, 2024. Yes. yes. If we I'm make on tour, it to them. Dan's on tour. Podcast is still on tour. Dublin and Glasgow. Glasgow is about to sell out. Dublin, we've got uh, some uh, tickets available. We re And everyone in Dublin buys their tickets late. But if you want them good seats, get the fuck on it. It's going to pop. We've got some great guests. Au revoir. We've got a song. Oh, oh, it's great. Love the music. A bianto. Right. A bianto. This, this week's uh, uh, a band from Bridlington in East Yorkshire. Oh, I love Fun. it. Great town. Uh, so it's a band called The Hilda, and their tune is called Lost On You. Shite. Come it's on. really good too. See you, Stephen. Come on. Bye, Come on. I know. <laughs>